All right, guys, hope you're all doing well. Uh, time for some Age of Vampires. Should be fun. Friday night party time, the night before the old world comes out. Let's get hyped and uh, set up the multiplayer lobby. So we are going to be opening, as always, with the FFA games. I played a couple 1v1s last night. Had a nice Byzantine win streak, which is very cool. Smoking Hot Wife is in chat. Yes. Supporting the... Uh, we'll see who are... I wish, I wish we had Poland as a playable Civ. That would be fun. Uh, don't worry. We're not going to be doing water as our first map. We'll probably just do a classic mega random and get all the memes. All right. So Mega Random is set. Anybody's welcome to join. And uh, I saw some people calling for the Order of the Dragon, so let's go ahead and play them. I know they're not the strongest, but whatever. Who cares, right? Um, all right. <laughs> Redditor with Conk knowledge. I like that. That's really funny. Uh, all right. So large map. Yeah, I think large is good. From uh, We'll do... No, we don't need a delay. Yeah, we want to allow observers, but no delay as well. All right. Cool, cool. I'll get a visit. Uh, someone in your family is going to visit the town of Turin. Very cool. Very cool. My um, Italian ancestors were from, I believe, like near the Swiss Alps by Lake Como, I think is what my dad had told me. So, um, yeah, we have two Order of the Dragons here. We could play them. Let's put it to a poll, actually, and see what you guys want to see. So um, let's get this. All right. And start poll. So Civ. Order. Olive. Well, we'll just put Byzantines in case people don't know about the olive oil thing. Um, Byzantine, who else would I be interested in playing here? I don't want to play anything like super, super OP. Um, we could do Mongols. Mongols are pretty damn good. And I don't see any other Mongols in the game. So let's go ahead and get that. Mongols and um, Rus is another one that's pretty fun to play too. Um, Jushis is very, very strong. Abbasid is rough with the two landmarks. Um, Japan is really powerful. We do have another Japanese player in there as well. We could even do a regular HRE. Yeah, we'll throw them in too. All right. So, you guys vote on what you want to see, and we'll go from there. Yes, yes. And it should be good. <laughs> That's right. Listen to Anna. Uh, is your name literally... Uh, so, yeah, it's a long story. It's it's not because of that city in Italy, per se, but, I mean, it could be, perhaps. I don't really know the exact history of it, but it is definitely from that region. Um, all right. Let's do this. And uh, let's go from there. Let's see what you guys vote on. What's it going to be? Can you do water first? So the so I'm not going to do water today. I, I think we, we had our fill of it last stream. Um, so we're going to let this poll run till we get a little bit more time here waiting on the poll. Just play French or China. Well, China isn't as bad. China isn't as bad. It's just Guild Hall, really. Yeah. It's it's really... Um, I mean, French, French is just uh, strong because of Guild Hall and their ability to wonder. So if they're left alone, they can have a pretty high probability of winning. Uh, all right, so it looks like the votes are pretty close. I'm going to let it run for another minute here until we see what you guys decide on. All right, all right. What's it going to be, baby? What are we going to What are we gonna be playing? It looks like Order of the Dragon's pulling ahead a little bit, just barely defeating the Mongols. Um, all right, yeah, Order's ahead by 3%, which is pretty substantial, so we're just going to play the Order of the Dragon. Uh, set no teams. Set no teams, please. My damn, my damn spacebar button is yes. broken. It's so annoying. Um, all right. Looks good. So we're going to be doing Order of the Dragon. We only have one person set with no team here. Let's go ahead and take a screenshot. Um, let's do this. Oops, wrong thing. All right. And so we got a screenshot in case the lobby crashes. We're going to be able to get the same players back. Come on, no bugs, please. It's the most obnoxious thing ever. Um, all right. Random next game. We'll do random civs next game. I think that'll be fun to mix it up. Order of the Dragon is definitely, you know, they have some power, power like moments of power in the game. Like you can steamroll people pretty quickly if they're not prepared. Like if somebody's greeting really hard and you come at them like late Castle Age, you can you can run them over pretty pretty hard. Yeah, you really can. All right, so I'm on Order of the Dragon. We have Docs on Order. Um, we have an Ottoman player too. Ottoman's very scary. Uh, French with Nanu. Mongols cute kitty, another Mongol player. So we got two Mongol players going to be relocating, Captain Miller and Wookie. So yeah, pretty damn strong lobby, to be honest. A lot of great players and also some very strong civs. I mean, we have one, two, three S-tier civs, in my opinion, in this lobby. And then we also have like Mongols could be S-tier. Like they really can. In the hands of like super strong players, I think they can be S-tier and can be way stronger than sometimes the other ones. Um, and Japan's Imperial, like there's Order of the Dragon can't fight Japan Imperial Age. Um, so I need to either get a shit ton of relics, get some sort of an economic advantage, maybe take out one of my neighbors early. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Should be fun. All right, all right. So 
I am empowered by my wife's presence here in chat. It is uh, it is time to gather all the relics. It's, it's going to be hard. Yeah, you can go fast castle pretty well with order. Um, not quite as quickly as HRE, though, because y- your Aachen doesn't give you as much. It's only 10%, and you, you really want to go mine work if you're playing order because of the uh, unique upgrades you get from it. They're just too good to skip on. They're too good. Yeah, you really, really want to take those. Okay. So just about ready. Just waiting on Nanu to load up here. Let's have some uh, H2O, get nice and hydrated. Oh, that's good, man. It's good stuff right there. By the way, I wanted to ask you guys about some other. Um, what are some other RTS games that you folks have been interested in that haven't been some of the you know ones we've been covering? Or are there any like four x four games like Dune Spice Wars that you think would be pretty fun? I was looking at the forty k four x four game. Um, I think it's called. It's yeah, I can't remember. But anyways, let's uh, let's get on this. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, already off to a good start. Like it's been a while since we've gotten a blessed corner position, and uh, here we do have one. So that's pretty great. And let's send you over to the gold out of the gates here. Do this. Go grab some sheep and uh, go from there. All right. So one sheep. And yeah, we have a good position though. This is good. Wookie's got this. Yeah, Wookie's a great player. Very, very strong player for sure. We're going to see though, man. I mean, I think uh, if I had to, if I was a betting man, I would, I would say French probably will win this. Uh, typically, we have two, do we have two French players? Oh no, we only have one. Okay. Maybe not. Uh, maybe Mongols then. Mongols would be my next bet. I thought there was two French. So I was going to say statistically... You know, because one of them can just sit in the shadows while the other one, um, you know, takes a brunt of it, and then they can um, they can wander with like 500 keeps in their base. The two on gold is all you really need out of the gates. So you just go two on gold, and then the rest on food. Um, let's get the sheep moving a little bit closer to the base here, and we need to scout pretty well to find all the relics and all that. So Gladius, that's what it was. Homeworld three that comes out March eighth. Yeah, that's that's a little ways off, right? Yeah, I would uh, I would I would play that. Okay, hold up, hold up. Is this deep water fishing too? Or is it just shoreline? Okay, so that's definitely going to change things a little bit. So let's grab you guys. Um, we're going to be a little bit slower to the feudal age here, but I think it's worth doing since we just discovered it. Let's do this and this and this. And um, yeah, I think like it's it's stupid not to play water if you have access to it. So uh, it, it will delay our feudal age, but then our castle age should be quicker overall. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Anyways, we got the boys on wood. The Order of the Dragon. I feel like the Order of the Dragon should be able to summon a dragon, you know? They should just be able to call a giant dread beast out in the fourth quarter of the game. <laughs> Alright, so we're on here. Um, looking good. We should be able to get a dock up soon. So we're not our build order isn't perfect because we didn't know it was there, but now that we know it's there, it's it's gonna it's gonna certainly uh, help us out. So not finding any relics here in the corner. You know, one thing that's okay about order is that you're not like as relic dependent as HRE because your baseline troops are actually quite strong. Um, so you can get away with using like potato tier units in the Imperial Age and whatnot if you have the upgrades, like the archer upgrades and all that goodness. So let's get a dock here, set that up. Yeah, I thought about Northgard, I did. Is this gigantic? No, it's just a, it's just a large map, bud. Uh, is this gigantic? That's what she said. Yes. Oh man, I got him so good. <laughs> Still got it, baby. Still got it. That was a good one. Come on now. Um, yeah, the AOS game wasn't very exciting in my opinion. Not only do I dislike the setting, but also I just felt like it was, you know, a little bit lackluster. Um, you know, I would have been able to push through the setting if it were, uh, you know, if I had liked it more, but I didn't like it that much. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, yeah, wasn't wasn't the biggest enjoyer of that. All right, let's get on gold now. If <laughs> she said that, she's not a keeper. All right, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yes, perfect. See, Anna's backing me up. That's right. Okay, so we're fishing away here. We see a neighbor. It's gonna be the old Wookiee on Japan. Uh, he is. He is. Uh, is he gonna rush me? No. It looks like he's doing a TC opening. So it's gonna be a two TC opening. Um, and he is on water. Okay, so Japan's setting up on water. They're gonna get their fishing boats. And um, we might need to do something about them eventually. I don't know when. It could. It come. Could. Could. Could come into play here. Okay, so let's go see if we can find some more relics around here. I'm gonna need another scout. So we'll probably open up and go knights and whatnot. Company of Heroes, yeah, I heard it's gotten some decent updates and whatnot. Could be worth trying. Um, so that's gonna be the Japanese dock. They're gonna be a little bit behind us in terms of the fishing situation. It's uh, it's not the biggest pond in the world here. We've only found one relic so far. So they're not super close to our base. Um, and let's switch you on to food. I think that's enough. And now we just need to focus on aging up. So obviously mine work. And then L's back in the corner here would just be the play 100%. All right, so we should be able to get a really, really quick age up here. Let's start jumping on gold pretty heavily because we're going to need it to rapid uh, up to castle age. 
And uh, let's set up a house here. So let's do this. Make sure we don't get supply blocked. It's my it's my special power move, right? Yeah, yeah. Alright, so where are the where are those relics at, man? Kinda kinda a little bare bones over here, isn't it? Um we do see him here. Okay, so we see Nanu, so we got a French player who appears to be like right in the middle of the map almost. So that's definitely not a good spot. I would imagine they'll try and relocate somewhere. Alright, so feudal age is being reached by people who don't have access to water. And um, now we should be able to turn in here and get the mine work palace going, so let's get that. And still only one relic in sight, which is a little bit concerning. Um, I'm going to go up and wall this and make sure I get it. Yeah, because I, I don't want to, like... I need to get relics. Like, I really, really need them. I mean, you're still you're still playing um, the Holy Roman Empire, right? Okay, so we see an idle uh, scout right there. Looking fine. We got that going. And um, we got four on that. Should be enough to age up. And do we see any more relics around? Not quite. All right, it's getting a little dodgy here. Getting a little dodgy. Um, I don't think Japan's going to do any yeah. early aggression against us. I would be pretty shocked, but we're going to go wall that one and hope for the best. Um, how much are the villagers? Oh, that's right. There's 60 food. Isn't that, isn't that the case? Okay. Yeah, got to make sure we're not losing out on that. Okay. Is there any more relics down here? I mean, I should be looking in the middle for relics. That's where um, that's where we're going to be able to get them, right? Command and Conquer Generals. Oh yeah. I, I love those games. The early Command and Conquer games were so good. Red Alert 2 was the one I probably played the most, I would say. Red Alert 2 was, was just absolutely great. All right, so we have our own little pond, which is awesome. We're going to be getting the age up here in a second. So I think that's enough on gold. Order of the Dragon does have less villagers. You always got to remember that. And okay, we just found another relic, so that's good. So what we're going to do is build some stables um, because the Order Cavalry should be pretty good at securing the relics and whatnot out of the gates. And you guys can then jump onto the sheep under the base. Good luck. Have fun. And we found two more relics. Okay, so that's that's our game plan. That's where we're uh, we're going here. All right, let's get you. Do this. And um, do I want to set up a wall with Japan here? Maybe. Okay, food gathering is going very well. We're going to need to hit the gold a little bit harder probably. And this has been uh, taken, so that's great. So let's get that, and then you can come down here and wall these two. Which is going to set us back a little bit, but I think it's okay. Um, it's not the fastest castle in the world, that's for damn sure. Okay, so it looks like there's a French knight in there, um, of Nanu, trying to trying to trundle away and troll us here. We could get some horsemen. Um, I don't like that there's already a knight out on the map. Okay, we might have to we might have to unleash all our aggression and hatred there. We'll have to see. All right. So let's get that secured. We do lose that villager, but at least the relic is secure there. Let's get some uh, some horsemen out just in case we get attacked here. Go drop the sheep off, and uh, yeah, we know where the other two relics are. We do. All right, let's go continue scouting here, and um, we can send our Order of the Dragon man up there. Let's go help out a little bit. All right, so we got 17 on food. Um, we're building a tower just in case we get raided. Feudal age has been reached by the old Wookiee. Uh, pretty slow age up, for sure. Um, but we'll be getting castle soon. Jushis can definitely beat us out on relics, so I think there's a Jushi player in here, Captain Miller. Yeah, so depending on his skill level, he can... He's going to be able to age up pretty quickly. All right, let's go get our horseman. A gilded horseman, I believe, beats a knight. It just has way more HP. Knight has 190 against 250. Damage differential is 19 against 15. So, yeah, we should have a decent little uh, brawl going for us there. Oh, that's just the con. Okay. So, still scouting about. We do see all those workers. Okay. Pretty close to the age up. Let's get another house and uh, take down this vill here. We do get the villager. Nice. And um, are we being attacked by the Khan? I don't think so. I think he's just kind of exploring his options. So we do get the villager. We're going to do this. Same with Japan. Yeah. And, um, okay, so we're eyeing the French here. They're trying to get through the gatehouse. And um, we definitely need to get that Regnitz online and try and get those middle relics. This one's going to be a little bit contested for sure. It's slowing my age up here, which is a bummer. But once I get a second horseman here, we can start, We can start, you know, rumbling with these bad boys. All right, so Regnitz should be ready in a second. So let's get this and go Regnitz. Okay, so that's going to go for us here. And let's uh, also get a Rax so we can get some Spearmen in case there's a big knight, you know, kind of push. Okay, so scouting about, we do see what's going. Let's get the horsemen to uh, dive here. And unfortunately, we don't have like a prelate waiting, which is kind of the unfortunate thing with the Order of the Dragon. Okay, so we do get the rear charge. That knight's going to get punished. No problem. And we can bounce here. And just do a little bit of micro, run him in circles here. Do that. Get another horseman coming, outstanding. And then we can turn on this bad boy. All right, so we should be getting the age up here in a second. 
going to be a little bit of a contested relic situation. Um, I think securing this one is going to be very, very important. Let's go ahead and get here. And um, cool. So we would like to get a knight, but let's get the prelate coming up here ASAP. Okay, how are we looking? Yeah, we need to try and jam out prelates where we can. I see you turn. Keep that to yourself. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, he's eyeing me here. Very fun. All right, so get you guys to do this. Um, yeah, Spearman, and we'll get you guys moving up here. The first Friar Tuck should be popping out. Now let's get another Friar Tuck over here to grab this one and this one. And we'll see what we can do. We'll see if, how many relics we can get. I mean, we're not going to be the, the quickest in the world, but... Okay, so yeah, he really doesn't want us to get that relic. He really doesn't want it. All right, so these are the injured knights from before. So let's see if we can take them down. Perfect, so that's one down. And we can break through the palisade wall for sure. I think we win this fight. It's going to be a little bit dodgy. Uh, maybe we don't actually. So let's get that prelate actually and go to the middle. And just see if we can get these relics. Uh, we might not get any. In which case, we're just going to have to kill the players who have them and try and use that as a our method here. All right. So yeah, he's got a nice little wall. There are horsemen running about. And um, let's go see if we can at least secure this one. Jeez. Yeah, it looks like they're being, they're being taken pretty hard. We might need to just go quick imp to try and get this, maybe. Okay, so we got you. Let's get you guys on gold. We're honestly not doing super good on the relic game. It looks like most of them have been taken by like Jushis and stuff. And uh, we, I think we're just going to have to go for the kill here. And just try and overwhelm him in Castle Age, which might be just how we do it. Uh, or we could just go Imp, get the Knight upgrades, you know, do that. Take advantage of our Water Eco. Um, we do have the River action going. Houses should be getting built here. Prelates are hustling. Um, and yeah, it's not really worth it here. Okay, let's get you back here and have you go get healed up. Is that relic still there? Shit, it's not. Dude, they all just got jacked. Okay, there's there's too many relic seekers in this game. It looks like there's another Order of the Dragon player. Okay, so we just need to go northwest. Let's go fast imp. Go northwest and, and conquer. That's that's how we're going to get our relics. All right, let's get the fishing upgrade. Uh, did you re reveal an elimination? I believe I did. I believe I did. Okay, so stable action is there. Looking good. And, um, yeah, let's just pull back. Rough start for sure. I mean, the only relic that's really on the table is this one up north. Um, so let's grab our Friar Tucks and pull them back. I believe they're still around. Yeah, we can we can have them head over here. And maybe we can still get that relic from uh, from the north. Let's build some big Chad Knights. How much do they cost? 200 gold. Jeez, they're so expensive. It's pretty nuts. All right, so we got two of them. We're going to go north and uh, start on this. Let's build some of these and uh, get you guys on wood. That's what she said. And go from there. Yeah, Zhushi with 4 TC. I'm not surprised to see it. All right, so we got you down. Looking fine. Um, we have the fishing. We have a peaceful fishing situation with our buddy here. Uh, let's go ahead and get this. So we got no relics, unfortunately, man. It was, yeah, we got none. Very rough. Very rough. Hmm. All right. Looks good. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to get get relics when, uh, you know, somebody's really actively denying, right? Yeah, that's that's Trixie Hobbitses. So let's go ahead and attack here and attack over there and get you. So we got you guys moving. I mean, is he just going to harass here? I don't know what the game plan is. Well, anyways, let's move up and see if we can secure this relic. And uh, you guys go here and you guys, uh, you Spearman can go there too. And then we can take you and you move north. And uh, he is an age three, so he should be able to get it here in a second, right? Not sure where those guys are going to be going, but yeah, let's keep getting on gold here. Let's get the upgrade and move you guys move. Let's move in here. Go take this down. And that's where the guild hall is going to be. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, that rage should not go well. He's just going to lose a bunch of stuff randomly. Um, as far as upgrades. Oh, that's right. We already have mine work. Jeez. I was like, for, I was forgetting how to play this, the sieve that I'm, that I'm on here. Okay. Let's do this. And then you can go grab the sacred site for a little bit of free money. So we're going to get this one way or the other. And it looks like the raid has been dispatched for the most part. And then we can grab this in a second, and that will be good. All right, let's get that. Bring it back to the old Ragnets. Um, are we still being raided? Yes. And now you guys can move in, and we can go just dive his base a little bit, which should be fine. Chad Spearman, able to fight all those guys off. That bad boy should be able to get away. And um, now we need to figure out if we want to go Imp or how we want to play this. Yeah, fast Imp would be good. Okay, we see him trying to stone wall here. Classic, classic. So let's just do that. Park you here. He's going to lose three more villagers. And uh, he's going to lose even more here. So that's a big, substantial eco hit he just took for sure. Uh, all right, let's get you here. Have you hold ground so we can't wall. And uh, cool. So Spearman has done it. Good job, buddies. And uh, you guys get some houses here. Here, here and here. And then we just try and go uh, imp here in a moment. All right, teach you on the fish. Go back to the conflict here. And uh, cool. 
So that was dealt with, and we took down another knight. Let's go get you. Unfortunately, Friar Chuck's not going to make it. Uh, let's actually garrison, uh, drop it in this tower here if we can. Get you to do this, and move into the base there. Yeah, then we just go imp. Yeah, at least we got one relic. I'm pretty happy about that. that was, that's good. All right, so let's get a handful of you guys. Get you on the stone so we can start getting some defenses and whatnot and come down to the French base and see what they're made of here. We will, we will test their might. We'll put their name to the test. All right, so looking pretty good for us so far. Yeah, this is this is what you get, man. You know, you're certainly not making friends while in my old relics. At least I did get one though. That's that's. I'm very happy with that. <laughs> it's better than nothing. So, and this is also big because it's a French player. So getting rid of the French early is um, pretty substantial in FFA. We need to get some big walls in the south too. So we still have guys guarding here. Um, I did just build a lot of units to try and finish them off here. We don't have any siege, um, so we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Um, you guys get back to fishing. And hey, we found a way in, nice. All right, so that's gonna be good for us. We have a villager popping out. You started this, dude. Uh, you know, if you, if you didn't, you started it. You started it, buddy. You know, this is, this is, this is your fault. Okay, so let's get you. He went extra villainous on me here. Okay, so let's get in there. And you guys build this. Uh, three, four, five, six, and seven. Alright, so we're just gonna take him down the old-fashioned way here. Let's get some more of the big chonker boys in there. Um, we need to wall our southern border, like stat, so that's gonna be very important here, because we don't want, like, a huge erect imperial uh, Japan coming for us. Alright. Uh, you started... You started the conflict. Yeah. This is what I was trying to say. All right, let's hunt you down. Get a couple of you guys to go take down that knight there. And um, yeah, now we could just we could just farm out pretty quick here. I think would be good. Let's do this. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Let's take this bad boy down. Should be able to get the knight here. And we're just gonna we're just gonna grind it. We're gonna bump and grind it nice and slow. So walls are being built. We're slowing the age up a little bit to, you know, stabilize our economy. Let's get all the gathering stuff. We weren't watching, so. Okay, you guys take these guys down. Let's get a couple of bills. More bills are paying the troll toll. A couple arbalists coming out, too. Where's the rest of our army? Are they trapped outside the walls? Did he wall it? That would be a pretty good play if he did. All right, so knights are rolling, and um, we got one relic on us. The south is going to be secure here in a moment. Okay, a couple of those guys moving in. We probably want to just come back with like a more brutal force soon to finish the job. So let's get this bill. And let's just harry his eco and whatnot. We don't have to like try and go for the base kill. Yeah, because is this even fully walled? Oh, it's not. Okay. It's like, we are we having real problems getting around this here? All right, so let's go look for eco. Just harry. And um, yeah, then we can move over here. Let's get on a little bit of stone. And hopefully our food will uh, will catch up here in a minute. Yeah, you know, we have a lot a lot of villagers. L's back in the corner is good, but I feel like I want the villager printer since I'm just on one TC. That feels like it's going to be more important. So, um, yeah, I don't know what you're doing in here, buddy, but you go ahead and jump out on the farms. We'll just keep running in circles and looking for this. Yeah, we started a little bit early tonight. We did. We did indeed. Okay, so it looks like the knight is there. So he's forced back in. We're just trying to see if there's any sneaky, sneaky eco going on. Nope, not quite. All right. Cool, so let's get an age up going, and then we can go ahead and switch on to the infantry-based army, and of course get some ranged after that. Okay, he's got a couple knights. The order of the chads are doing it. Okay. Perfect. Let's get you on the arbalist here. This is what I'm kind of talking about. Order of the dragon can definitely be overwhelming, like early on, like this. Um, it can it can get pretty nasty. Yeah, so a lot of bills are making a run for it. I don't know where they're gonna go, but we need to uh, we need to finish this player off. Yeah, we we don't want to have um, a scary neighbor here. Um, now I am in a bit of danger though. The um, the what's it called? The uh, Japanese to the south have just reached Imperial, so there's a substantial chance that they could get kind of crazy. All right, let's go get that archer. Do this, and a lot of villagers were lost there. All right, let's keep working on that. And uh, we've been scouted here, but it looks like the walls should be finishing soon. All right, so 13 workers. Let's get you on the old uh, food for now. Blue is strong. Yeah, I think uh, I think a lot of people are strong here. Let's get you on that. Let's see where he's going with these villagers. He's probably going to try and build um, 
Swabia. So where do we want to go next? Let's grab you guys. Do this. Palace of Swabia in the corner. Please don't kill me. We need to get imp like soon. Otherwise, we're in some. We're going to be in some uh, some stranger danger for sure. I don't know where he's going with those guys. Yeah, we, we'll we'll try and ride them down and make sure they don't you know get away and do anything fancy here. Okay, so looking good. And then we need to get you guys get some archery ranges, and that should be adequate for now. We have good food going. Um, Japan is not up here. I don't think they're going to get aggressive. Maybe they will. I mean, if they do, hopefully we'll be somewhat prepared for it. We got Imperial Age coming. So, oh, he, he actually managed to muster some Arbalists. So, okay. So let's look around and see if there's any funny business going on up here while we just kind of uh, get ready to age up. And, um, yeah, we can go ahead and mix in some land snakes because they're super cool. Let's get some horsemen. And um, we've been kind of peaceful here. Yeah, we only have one relic, but it's okay. It's uh, We didn't really have a good spawn for it, and there's a ton of other relic hungry civs that are going to be aging up quicker. Um, all right. So let's do that. I guess the, uh, the, double, <laughs> the double here isn't too bad. Okay, so we see the Mongols. Um, we see the walls up here probably mostly done. Um, Japan is not coming at us quite yet, which is good. I'm sure they will at some point. We're a little bit boxed in, so we're going to need to switch it up to the middle here in a second. All right, so we found that. We got the one relic. Hell yeah, baby, let's go. Let's uh, just get this tree line here for now, I guess. Um, or they can just go jump on gold. Let's get the villager printer going. And um, yeah, so he's trying to get this arbalist position. He might be able to. He's got a fair amount of spears, actually. I wonder if we can win this fight, maybe. Yeah, those knights are pretty scary, although those are those are arbalists. And uh, they do do bonus heavy damage, but we're chewing him down. He's, he's getting the wall off there. Looks like uh, we are going to kill the arbalist army, but not before he gets the keep up, so... We're gonna have to come through with some proper tech soon and uh, actually finish the job. It's pretty crazy how like sauce gilded knights are. Those bad boys uh, do not mess around. All right, let's get this and this. Get some siege workshops and uh, get a marketplace so we can balance our economy a little bit. Yeah, Japan. Japan is a very scary threat, but so is French. If I leave a French player next to me, like no, no, that's not happening. Not not today. All right, so this and then one, two, three, four, five. Okay, pretty ugly farms, but it is what it is. Um, we don't have the siege workshops yet. Japan is taking a lot of gold, but I can't, I can't afford to pick a fight with them yet. You know what I'm saying? It's um, it's a little bit too dodgy to do that here. Um, let's grab you guys, do this, head to the middle, and let's go see if we can grab some gold over here. We'll like build a keep there and you know do all that stuff. All right, so the villager printer's going. Let's get the gather rate stuff. Um, we do we want to get the knights up to elite? Sure, why not? We already have a handful of them. They're super cool. I feel like gilded knights are just like, the coolest thing ever. So. Yeah, those these knights are pretty serious. They they don't mess about. All right, so we need to save up a little bit for this. Let's go ahead and get that going. We got villagers running over. Japan's like super entrenched here, and um, we will finish our task here in a minute. We got imperial right, so yeah, only one relic sadly, but it is what it is. Could be worse. All right, so we finished the gold there. Let's move up here. Grab this. Um, we got some villagers hustling across. So let's do here and here. We need to get that keep set up. And the reason why I want elite spears first is because they're, you know, I don't need a lot of gold to make them right. So, all right, so we're going to definitely need more on here. So let's get this and this. All right. So we'll get you guys on the wood. And uh, we will soon get a bombard cannon, which will pretty much should end them here. It should be enough. All right. So villagers are hustling. Uh, fishing eco is still going. There's still a little bit of fish to be had. All right, let's get you guys here. We can just get on the deer camp for now. If blue kills me, he has the corner. <laughs> Evil blue. It seems it seems like blue is quite the villain here, huh? All right, so we're heading across. And, oh, okay, so that's what's going on here. That's what's going on. All right, I see it. I see you. So we're going to go there. That's where Nanu set up their, uh, their proxy base. So we're going to get you guys to go help out with that. We definitely don't want them taking all that gold, right? So we need to get over there because we are just, like, kind of kind of gold poor right now. So we got elite knights, elite gilded knights who are gonna have like a million HP, which should be pretty chad. Um, we are not doing super well on resources. Order of the Dragon is weird. You always kind of feel like you're starving a little bit. Just cause like when you're expending for these armies and whatnot, it's like super, super, um, you know, taxing and whatnot. Yeah, so he rebuilt down here. Probably his plan is to get the Red Palace here and have like a, you know, center position. So let's get that. We gotta keep going and um, we should have the Bombard over in a second. So let's get this. Take down the town center, and um, now we're going to get back on gold here. Let's get a cannon emplacement. We could just take down the TC for starters, and um, we got the bombard cannon rolling across. I'm sure Japan is just like watching, like what the hell is going on over here? This is like 
some shadiness. Um, all right, let's get the arrow upgrade. We take down the TC to get rid of the um, villager support. Let's get some knights, get some spears. And now we are getting a lot of gold. All right. So the middle sacred side is being contested. And so I run down these vills. And we can get you guys going there. All right, buddy. Yeah, I don't know what's going to come. We're definitely going to get a handful of these. Let's go here. He does have burning oil. And uh, Japan, oh, man. That was, uh, that was an accident. Shit. We accidentally did an attack move. All right. So, yeah, we are on this. And uh, we're getting some good damage. Okay, let's just go up here. Get our bombard going. We'll get a little bit more lumber. U-30 Vils can head over to do lumber up on the tree line to the north. And yeah, that was that was not the best. Not the best, that's for sure. I mean, he's got to be really behind right now. He's surviving very well, which is which is awesome. Um, but sadly, we need to get a siege workshop here and here. So boom, boom, because yeah, we're gonna keep losing stuff. He's got a lot of villagers in this keep. Um, let's get him to the main base for now. You guys have uh, cleared that out. All right, let's get men at arms. Gotten into the base again. See more bills down here, and uh, more reinforcements. Fires are coming across. All right. Let's get some rams for the ram god. It's ram for the ram throne. Uh, our eco count is 108, which is probably honestly adequate. I don't know if we need much more else. Um, I think we just uproot them from the center first. It's gonna be the plan. Yeah. Let's just get another ram. Two rams should be enough, and uh, we can get the upgrade here too. All right, and you, in the meantime, can start knocking on those walls. Doing a little bit of split pushing here. We need to secure this gold. Um, we need to secure the gold, 100%. So let's go ahead and get a keep here, just to be safe. You never know when the dreaded counterattacks are going to come. And uh, cool, so they're on the way. Let's do this. We got eight villagers. It looks like mostly fishing boats idling about here. And a big, a big Japanese army uh, moving in the south. Doing God knows what. All right, let's go hunt the bills here. We got the cannon placements. The rams are going to come, but we supply blocked ourselves like an absolute potato. Okay, Captain Miller has fallen. He has paid the he has paid the price. Uh, soon we will have the middle, and we're going to have proper siege equipment so we can uh, get back in the gold here. All right. So Japan is obviously wary of us. Um, we are not super strong. I mean, just on one relic, like we are not um, tyrannical by any stretch. We'll take these down to prevent any shenanigans, and because um, we really do need any gold we can get here, right? How's the bombard cannon doing? Okay. So let's get the knights up here. Let's get the torch damage on the spearmen, and we can get some crossbows, whatever. All right, so that should be fine for now, and now we can go into the main base. Mongols are scurrying down here, it looks like. Let's get our army and uh, knock this wall down. 12 vils here. Probably want to get a better food situation. We don't really have the gold to upgrade everything yet. Okay. Horsemen. Oh, let's get the Gilded War Horses charge. You think 100 Shinobi are going to come? Ooh, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Okay, so we see some Haggard Spearmen coming in. Oh, I probably should leave that. Ah, mm. uh, yeah. Let's, let's try and leave that market if we can. See if that's possible. Red's been trading for ages. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people are um, are very scary here. So, All right, so yeah, we're just going to kill that so they can't balance their economy. And let's get the Bombard Cannon in, and um, let's get you, and then you guys look about ready to jam some trees. And uh, we could just dive it. We have a good enough army that I think we could dive here. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to go for it and just try and break the lines. We're going to do a little bit of line breaking here. Rams are coming in, so even if we lose that, we're okay. And this is going to be the end of them, I think. Yeah. He put, he's, he's putting up a great fight, though, man. He ain't going quietly. But, um, you know, with the early, early grass he was doing to me and stuff, I, I, I couldn't, couldn't abide, you know. Okay, let's get on the spring alt here. Get those men-at-arms coming. We have a shit ton of wood. Um, let's go ahead and get more production and more production and more production. The HRE, with these guys, I guess you don't need quite as much. Um, our rams have gotten in. We're destroying the houses to supply block them. Let's get some more of these, get the ram upgrades, and the gold has been taken by us, which is great. So we're still on gold. Uh, if we can find somebody who has relics next, that's gonna be the that's gonna be the play, 100%. Okay, let's get some army tactics going. We need to get our units all all jacked. Zinch's champion. That is um, Naniori, I believe. Yeah, one of our uh, one of our locals here. All right, so let's just uh, clear this out. We're at 200 supply. We have a little bit of gold. Let's sell some of this. Um, get you guys fully upgraded. Yes. So finally, we may have taken down the French. They're still only in Castle Age, which means um, 
instead of a house here, just like the scout. Yeah, so that's one landmark down. We know where the guild hall is. And um, that's going to be one French French champion out of the game here. So, All right. Nanny's a great player, too. So um, certainly you don't want to leave them to their own devices. All right, so heading to the north. How are we looking in the middle? Looking fine. Still have a couple gold nodes here, so yeah, let's actually get a tower up. That's going to be a little bit better. And uh, we're going to go, and if they can't get the red palace up in time, then they're going to die to this here. So army tactics is on the way. We'll get biology. And the order of the chads, are, uh, they're trying, man. They're trying to keep it rolling. Probably going to be the end. I, I would imagine they're building red palace somewhere. That's what I suspect. Like, probably just collected their resources, but their castle age, and that's going to be it. Uh, GG. All right. So now we need to see who has relics. All right, um, clear that out. I don't think there's too much here. We got golds, we got 54. Yeah, we have a really good eco. Let's go ahead and get textiles to make our order boys even bigger. I'm gonna destroy all these to make it so the Mongols can't um, pillage it for money. Cause you know, we gotta, we gotta keep everything in check here. And also what we need to do, buy a little bit of this and secure our Northern Empire. We need to make sure we're like fully walled so no like weird, you know, Fire Lancer run bys can happen or anything. All right, so nine bills, we've done that. Let's get some siege workshops um, so we can make a lot of siege. Get biology as well. And uh, feeling good. Yeah, feeling pretty good here. There's a wild samurai. Uh, this one will increase the wall health, which I suppose is helpful. We do have a Chad Samurai, fully upgraded. Eco looking absolutely juiced to the gills. I'm, I'm definitely nervous about, you know, I picking a fight with Japan. Like, if I lose a fight with Japan, which is very likely, um, you know, I'm just going to get Ozutsu. And uh, that's really, really tough to hold. Okay, we got a gold node here, which is outstanding. So let's go grab that while we can. So you guys can turn in and come up and grab that. You know, every, every little bit matters, man. Every little bit matters. Hmm... All right, how are we looking here? Uh, fishing boats we can probably delete. Just get a land-based economy. Okay, walls are coming up, the walls of doom. And um, I guess we just get more of these and uh, just farm it out. One, two, three, four, okay. Oh, look at those hideous farms. How much do you guys love it? You, you know you love it. Okay, so we're lumberjacking in the middle. We're taking gold. Um, gold's gonna be gone from the middle soon. Japan is probably pretty jacked. Um, we have a Mongol player in the bottom. So Nani Yori is, it might be prudent for me to work with Nani to, to try and take out the, um, the other player here. It could be a good idea. All right, let's get a tower up. Although we do have another Mongol player up in the top who was talking a little bit of smack earlier. <laughs> Trying to politic against us, you know? Maybe, maybe I go up there. But Mongols are hard to finish. It's like, if I go up there and they, they know they can't win, they're just going to run with everything, right? Okay, let's get all the upgrades first before we try any fighting. John Talbot, love the AOE. Great for snow day. Hell yeah, man. Hope you're doing well, and thank you for the uh, generous support. All right, so we're walling. Uh, we just need to get the wall finished there. Let's do this. Um, do that. Okay. And, uh, oh, it looks like the Mongols here trying to set up a uh, landmark. Okay, so that's cute kitty's landmark. And I feel like we have a good enough bank to fight a decent fight. Um, let's move up here and ambush this landmark and see if we can kill it real quickly. Our eco is a little bit too big, so we probably delete some. And free up some uh, some some military here. So let's get some elite land snakes, because with the Zornhau upgrade, which, did I get that? I did. Okay. So with the Zornhau upgrade, those guys are just like Terminators. Let's get archers, horsemen, and we have biology, but we do not yet have the uh, incendiary arrow. So let's sell some wood. That's what she said. And to get that. All right. That, where did that go? Oh, it just ran up here. Okay. So we're just going to go hunt that down real quick. I don't know if this is going to spur on a Mongol invasion. It very well could. Um, but, you know, can't wait for Order of the Dragon. Are you... Are you saying Order is strong? <laughs> All right. So we found this wild step read out here. I have one relic. Yeah. I, I could tell them that too. I don't know if it'll have any political bearings, but you know, if they'll actually listen or care or whatever. I need to get trade going. So accessing trade there is going to be pretty important. Um, so we get the step read out down. That's going to burn. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to meme a little bit. You guys ready for this? All right. So that has 200 HP. All right. So it's down. And um, what the hell is that? Okay. So let's do this, 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 and this. 
<laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna wall that off there. All right. So one and one. Uh, we never got the textiles upgrade. Military is now respectable, and uh, we're gonna wall that in. Mongols. Oh, oh, wait. Is that? Oh my God. The market was almost finished. That would have been so clutch if we could have gotten that. It seems like Cute Kitty's busy somewhere else. But we're gonna wall that relic so we can keep track. Yeah. We're, maybe the Mongols have some. Let's go find out. Man, that market like was almost almost good to trade with. All right, so how are we looking around? Yeah, still some, still plenty of gold in the middle. We're gonna grab it and take down these landmarks here. Um, that market, unfortunately, can we actually finish that? Is that like I don't think we can, right? No. I was gonna say I think in the previous patch you could. The step readout is going to the prison. Yes, it is. And um, we're just gonna attack into the Mongol lands. Is this a fallen Mongol player? No, this is legit. This is a uh, actual Mongol lad here. Okay, so we still have a little bit of gold, enough to sustain, I think, a basic war. So let's get in and uh, chase the Vils down. Is that the legitimate TC? It is. Okay, so they're already preparing a corner wonder. Um, in the meantime, let's go get that, stay on top of that TC. Uh, get you guys to start bombarding the towers. And uh, we just chase this thing down and uh, go from there. I suspect Cute Kitty might have gotten bullied by someone earlier, maybe. Okay, let's split a couple of horsemen to go chase these Vils. And we just keep clearing this out. I don't know. Something must have happened to them earlier. Let's get the gunpowder upgrade. Chase you guys. Yeah, it looks like they're gremlining. All right. So it looks like red is a big enemy. Apparently. Oh yeah. Okay. So they're being they're being goblins here. Pink is dead, by the way. Turn. Oh, got it. Okay. How do you how do you how do you know that I am interacting with them? Let's see. I'm curious about that. Let's get this down center. Okay, so we're moving this way. We're gonna keep chasing this. Want to shut that down. And it looks like somebody might have. Um, okay, so we have a cannon tower here. So we're gonna go just charge that. It's only wood, so should be fine. And oh, they just brought their white stupid to us too. Okay, so that's gonna be another landmark. That's gonna be a freebie for us. Yeah, we, we're we're just finishing off the Mongols right now. I see your troops. Okay, fair play. Okay, so it looks like there's two people who didn't want a Mongol neighbor. <laughs> Both order players are got got it. All right, so that's gonna be probably the end of them. Yep, that's it. All right, so no Mongols now. Um, the Japanese are moving with. Oh shit, that got upgraded to stone right when I wasn't looking. Lovely. Um, so now we need to get we need to get some. Uh, yeah, Ottomans are gonna be crushing people for sure. We have the prison here. Our eco count is 90, so let's do that. Pull you back. And Japan pushing us out of the middle a little bit. Looks like they just want those gold nodes, but the neutral trade posts are super contentious. They're very, very contentious. All right, let's get the food upgrades maxed out. Um, I think we have most of the basics. Let's get the siege engines. And, um, all right, perfect. So the Mongols have paid the troll toll. Um, let's go to the middle. See if you can secure that gold. I definitely want it. And um, I would like to also wall the north if I could, but there's not too much. There's actually a big stone node up there. Okay, that's really sweet. So let's go grab that with the boys. Um, we'll have you guys do that and go up here. And where was that? No, it was on the side. Okay. So that's going to be you know enough stone to probably wall. Okay, we see another outcropping here. Heading over to the middle. Japan could just steamroll us with Ozutsu at any point. So we have to be ready for that. Let's get the upgrades for the inevitable conflicts. Abodkin bolts are okay to get, I suppose. Um, we see docks with a tower there, walling us off that gold that I certainly want. So seven bills hanging out. Oh, Japan already has the Ozutsu, I can assure you. Here's the thing. Um, if I st start, a, I might, I want to secure gold before I start a war. Um, you know, I think that's going to be a little bit more important here. So we're going to, we're going to try and take this down. And uh, we're on stone again. Um, are we secured? Yeah, we're walled in our main empire, so we can always fall back to that. So let's still go take this down and get our villagers back on gold. All right, so they're going to move back to gold here. Cannoning my vills. Securing that. Okay, get those guys down. He's the arbiter of the trade post, it would seem, yes. It would seem so. Is there any other trade around? I don't think so. I don't think so. All right, so we got golds. Okay, perfect. I have no trade. He probably has more relics than me. 
So, uh, you know, I could I could lose a fight. Yeah, so that sacred site has been... Um, we're going to decap that. I need every source of uh, passive gold. Okay. And um, Tithe Barns is useless at this point. Probably getting some Inspired Warriors would be good, but they are gold intensive. 100 gold a pop for that. Uh, all right, so this is all... Yeah, we see Japan's... The classic Japanese player just making only Samurai. They can get countered pretty hard by Land Snakes, though. Land Snakes can wreck them uh, in a pretty solid fashion. Feel free to rebuild a tower by posts. All right, so yeah, if nobody's trading there, then that's fine. Red literally trading half map. I thought he was dying to the Ottomans. Or was this just a subterfuge? Court Architects, and we're, we're fully, fully online here. I wish I didn't feel dead. Um, all right, so... Hmm. It's Japan. Japan's here with a big Chungus army. My eco and military strength is okay. I don't know if I could fight Japan. Let's go back to our base. I mean, I could, I could try, but man, it could really, really backfire on me, guys. All right, let's do this and this. Um, cut you guys. Okay, moving down that way. I'm pretty much getting all the upgrades and heading back home here. Don't tower my gold, though, is all I'm asking. He can he can have a tower to protect. I'm happy if other people aren't trading, but if he's uh, towering my gold, then I'm not happy. Japan down here probably needs to go. Yeah, Yellow Order does look really good. The, th the aesthetic of them is, is pretty awesome. Yeah, we don't need that. What is that, a trebuchet upgrade? Get out of here. We have glorious Imperial technologies at this point. All right, so you guys have cleared that. Let's go down here and grab the scraps of this gold. We'll take the scraps. Like, it feels really bad starting a war when you have, like, this poor of an economy, right? Like, really, really bad. Um, it's it's not, not a, a great situation. Okay, so you guys, um, let's come down here. Set up some siege workshops, and then when you're done with that, you can come back here. Heading back to our base. We see green running around some bills doing God knows what. I don't know where they're going. Maybe they're heading to the Japanese base or something. Um, red does have this. Huh. All right. Gilded Mustard Knights, yeah. It's kind of what they are. All right. So where can we afford to delete on eco a little bit? The wood, the wood obviously, is important for ram spam. Um, we have one on stone right now. The giant stone node up here was purged. Is there any, like, docks up there? Anything that I can, like, establish some sneaky trade with? Let's go look. I, d I doubt it. I don't think there's any sneaky trade areas, sadly. But I'm going to go do a little bit of scouting and see if that's the case. Oh, I'm going to get my, my, my business up for sure. Okay, so we have a good food bank, good wood. Like, but Japan is, like, so scary. This is going to give us uh, buildings to get fire armor, which isn't going to help against Ozutsu. Um, burning oil could help against samurai bum rushes and stuff. So I think we get... Man, I hate building keeps against the um, against the Japanese. It feels so pointless. Alright, let's get that and that in case we get raided. It's always nice. Let's we'll see if there's a dock over here. If anybody's fishing, maybe. Does Japan have any docks? I think they deleted it. Yeah, we're just kind of scouting the map. Let's go run around and do a little bit of an uh, exploratory mission. See what we can find here. Scouting villagers, it's what it looks like. It's what it looked like. Alright, so let's do this. And go up here and see what we can find. We're accumulating a decent bank. We're getting the workshops ready. Workshops for the workshop god. We're gonna go see if there's any like weird cross map trade or anything going on up there. You guys have finished that gold off. This one is still pretty hotly contested. Um, I could slap down a keep here. A little bit risky. It's certainly gonna, you know, incur Japan's wrath if they notice it. Man, I don't want to fight through the middle either. Um, I would rather fight through. Is there any more st like gold to grab? It looks like that's legitimately one of the last gold nodes, like in uh, on the map. So I'm gonna wait for the rest of the villagers to get here, and then we can we can build that. Okay, so we see the ruined Mongol base. Looks like somebody built a tower here. Okay, let's take you out of the control group so you can keep scouting. Okay, bring you guys to the middle. In the meantime, you just jump on lumber, whatever, until the army gets there. Ah, oh, man, getting that keep there is going to be tricky. I mean, they could for sure, for sure come at us here. The samurai are just such raid bosses. They're so chad. All right, what other wood notes do we have around? A little bit of stone to be had right there. Here, unfortunately, we're getting hit by a keep. I don't think anybody is trading right now there. We do need to check... Incrementally, incrementally here to see if anybody is trading. Um, slapping down that keep to secure the gold is what? One full gold node? 4,000 gold? 
Yeah, I think we are gonna try it. We're gonna we're gonna try and see if he notices here. Oh shit, Japan's got to keep there too. They have one of their big Giga Chad keeps, which are just way better than ours. All right, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna definitely you know be uh, incurring a little bit of aggro here. I don't know what the order of the dragon looks like. Let's just keep this guy scouting. And um, kindly, okay, somebody's not happy here. We have gotten to the keep. Um, cool. So that is done. One, two, three. Torch those down, and we'll come clear this out here in a second. And um, hopefully that will uh, that will allow us to get that gold. But with all that keep is active, it's not going to be so easy. That's for sure. Okay, so Vils, we want it. We want it, precious. You guys have finished off the wood, and uh, let's just come and get some very safe wood in our base. Okay, so the army has arrived. Maybe we do hit the Japanese keep here. Um, can it reach our vills, though, while they're getting the gold? I think it will, unfortunately. Yeah, it will, for sure. All right, so we need to get our army across. We can try rushing it. I don't know if the samurai are going to... I'm going to delete this just to get rid of the attack notifications. And let's see if anybody else is trading. Uh, Trade or trade? Somebody could be water trading, too. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, so nobody's trading there. So the samurai are on the way. Thankfully, we brought our army, so... I don't know if we can win this, but we'll try. And uh, we have repairs on the keep, too. So we can slap, slap the base on some repairs. So Zutsu being nice and OP. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really target them. And I have no idea how this fighting's going. Yeah, this keep looks like it's going to go down, unless I can buy some stone and maybe try and get that going. But yeah, the samurai are butchering most of our troopers. So uh, yeah, let's get the bills back. Classic Japan. We need to get some of the land snakes. How much? They're 200 gold to pop, though. Man, that sucks. Uh, yeah, it's a big Japanese army. So hopefully we can get the reinforcements over to the middle before things uh, we lose the middle completely. Granted, there's not much there. It's just that one gold node. You know, it's just the one. We need land snakes in our army to have a chance against that. All right. Seems like green is kind of keeping tabs on things. He's building towers everywhere, which is funny. Um, I would like to maybe consider walling that northern border, but it looks like he's going to lose these villagers. Yeah, he's just trying to build towers to keep vision. Okay, so the boys are on the way. We got our military coming across. Uh, all right. Alright. Mongol trade since minute one. I mean, what Mongol player is still alive? Um, oh, Nanny, right? Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's a little bit far away from my jurisdiction. Um, I, Wookie will probably beat me with the Japanese Imperial if we fight one on one. I'm a little bit hesitant to go all out on uh, on war here. I don't know. Maybe maybe we do. I do have a, a solid bank, um, so we can make you know just crap units basically. <laughs> That's what we get. We got a couple bombards. We're gonna go try and get that gold. I do have the gilded land snakes in here now, so they should absolutely just clobber samurai, because um, they're like tightly bunched up and you know all that sort of good stuff. Let's get the fire armor upgrade. And now we move down and try and get this man. It, uh, I don't know how this is gonna go. It could be an absolute disaster, um, but we're gonna we're gonna try it. Let's get some mangoes in here too. All right, so the boys are gathering. His army is Ozutsu, hand cannoneers, and all that goodness. All right. So let's get you guys, and what they can do is we can start trying to use the cannons to methodically snipe the Ozutsu. Maybe that's the way. The Land Snakes are doing big damage this time around, so that's good. Um, you guys, unfortunately, we can't really afford that many more. I'm using my Bombards to kill the Ozutsu, which is hilarious, because it's like the only effective way of doing it. And um, the fighting actually doesn't go terribly there, believe it or not. Yeah, but like, man, even still, we're just like, we're just in danger here. All right, let's get the Bombards back, uh, do a little bit of scooting and shooting. Let's get you Bombards back as well. Both armies are definitely out of steam, but, you know, he, he definitely traded up into me there, I would say. Okay, if we can wipe the, like, lower the Ozutsu numbers, I would say that's a pretty big win. He's going to snipe the keep now, but there's not that many Ozutsu left. Yeah, okay, so that's that's good for us. That is very good. Um, we can do host also. Do hosting is very much on the table. Uh, and he lost all of his Ozutsu. So his Ozutsu numbers are, are very low now, which is good. Um, and we need to move up. Unfortunately, he still has gold. Like, you can see his army is very gold-based. And mine is just, like, potato. Yeah, maybe we just ignore this, because, like, this is almost going to be gone in a minute. Yeah, let's just go back here and prepare something on this side, right? So let's do that. All right. Let's get you guys going. Looking good. There's not really any sense in fighting here. Um, up north, any resources laying around? We see green. Yeah, that's a good army here. Letting Japan in green. Okay. Looks like the Redditor isn't happy um, about something or other. I wish I could make gilded hand cannoneers, but, you know, I'm just a potato. 
And uh, yeah, we're going into the classic, uh, classic poor man situation. The trade is being guarded, but he's probably trading. Green is probably trading. Okay, moving fine. I feel, yeah. Green trades. Uh, Wookie, let's put aside our shit and deal with him. Yeah, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if uh, if anybody wants to. I see you trading there. Wookie, uh, do I have your katana? Wookie. Yeah right, dude. Yeah right. He's, he can't be trusted. He's been he's trading for seventy. Is Wookie the thing? Is will Wookie ride to my aid though? That's the question. I don't think so. Wookie seems like he's he's kind of set on um. <laughs> you dishonor, <laughs> dishonorable. Yeah. Well, I mean, if it's, I can't take him one v one. So green free trade it is, because I can't take him with no gold. Yeah, so unfortunately guys, Wookie isn't gonna help, so we are uh, you know, we're we it's pointless, because we're just gonna we're just gonna absolutely lose shit. If Wookie and I took him out together, we could for sure beat him, um, because of the Ozutsu and stuff. And I could just raid and swarm and do all that stuff, but um but yeah, there's there's no sense in it. We can we're just gonna abandon the middle at this point. Seventy. It's 70. Walk 10 yards and look for yourself. Yeah, so I don't think the Wookiee is going to help. Let's just hammer these berry bushes down real quick just for the memes. Um, yeah, you see he's looking here. He just pulled them back. Yeah, he, he might have left right as he did it. But he got a lot of relics. Um, that army is very good quality. Men at arms, hand cannoneers, couple spears, and eight prelates in it too. He hit it, obviously. But you will find out later when he he uh, cackles and wonders. Who's still in the game? So we got the Ottomans. Um, he's moving forward. We're abandoning the middle situation. Okay, we got 69 on food. That's definitely a lot, but hopefully we can just purge these berry bushes real quick. Let's get you guys on wood. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna, um, shit, man. Red been hard Mongol trading for like 60 minutes. Oh, that's fine. We're gonna see what happens here. I think we just attack the Wookiee. So I wonder if Wookiee is gonna take the alliance because we could definitely get in and do some big damage to his base, like huge, with all these rams and whatnot. Um, you know, we can we can do some massive raiding. Is he fighting here? Okay. Looks like they're having a bit of a stare down. I'm not sure. Unfortunately, um, yeah, Green looks like he's 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 antagonizing Wookiee a little bit. The two of them are hanging out. I need to get some better walls so I can like escape from these portions of my base a little bit more efficiently. Okay, 21 of you guys. Is there any gold left? Any resources? I mean, man, it is barren as hell in these lands. Holy shit. I mean, I guess there's wood. Oops, wrong building. Okay, let's pop that. I'm getting a little bit of passive from my one relic that I do have, which is very, very, very haggard. Green, your army is large. All gold units also. Yeah. Yeah, I have horsemen and spears. Um, do I go raiding is the question. Oh, man, I don't think I could stop him. I mean, I could hold him for a long time, but it would it would eventually lead to my demise. So I think I have to be more of an opportunist here. I was going to attack. Um, we're going to go down in the south and see what's going on here. All right, so you guys can just hang back here. Nanny will have a thousand towers. Well, Nanny is too far away for me to have any uh, bearing on. Like, way too far away. So, I, I you know, it's not my response. I, I'm trying to police my side of the map, you know, where I can have an impact. Um, we're going to just do a run by and go see what's going on in the south. And go from there. So, yeah, what is that? A culverin? We see an army here. My horsemen legions will run, and you guys set up more uh, stables back here. 
We're going to be spamming a lot of horsemen. Because um, these horsemen are really good. They have 400 HP. They're pretty damn meaty. Like, even, even with... Um, just passing by. Don't mind me. If I fight you, then my corner two corner neighbors set up uh, might be chilling. But if I catch you, trade. Okay. He's definitely trading. I mean, he's just he's just sneaking it in there. So red is trading uh, for 73. Mongols are hard trading, for sure. And so so is docs. Okay. So we're exploring. And we're gonna keep looking around here. Can't Ottomans just bombard kill? Okay. You got it. Yeah, what's a, I mean, I see like five bombos. Oh my God, look at that. Somebody's gonna have to deal with that shit eventually. Okay, so I am just gonna retreat. Um. Yeah, I don't know why he's not just killing him with those Bombard Cannons. This trade post is blocked. All the trade posts are kind of blocked up for me here. Ah, it's tricky, man. It's tricky. Swing to the North Mongolian rear. Yeah. We'll see. I have to see how some of the other conflicts emerge. Um, Green's army is moving down, but there's no way in hell I can do much here. Um, it looks like there are some walls in the north. Okay. So we're just kind of exploring here, trying to see. Um, let's go ahead and send the rams up this way. Yeah, they can actually come uh, and do this, and then just knock these walls down. And let's get a lot of horsemen coming out. Just a hell of a lot of horsemen. Alright, U10, let's get you on trees. Just do that. Okay, so we should get a big batch of horsemen here. Rams are going to do a little bit of do hosting. And um, how's our supply looking? We're not making any bills anymore, are we? Um, I, it's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find out one way or the other. We're kind of far, so if he, if he wants to attack me, it's like a journey. I have no gold though, so he would definitely crush me if we ended up fighting. I mean, yeah, I could be a rat and hold for a while. He just said he hasn't lost. Yeah, I, how can the Ottoman Ottomans should for sure just steamroll? Um, in my opinion. So what do we want to delete here? Do we have anything that's worth deleting? Maybe. So we're going to go in. We can get rid of these archers just to free up the horsemen population. Um, looks like those guys are out. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, just use free jannies and bombos and you can win. Can win with good micro. Yeah. I mean, uh, he shouldn't have any problems. Ottomans will absolutely steamroll Mongols. Uh, I don't know about Japan. We don't know. We got a lot of horsemen coming in for the old old raid here. Yeah, I think everybody except me is trading. I'm the potato king. All right, so those guys are ready. Let's move across and get these walls. A little FFA salt is always fun. And uh, yeah, we're going to go do some raiding and see what this empire looks like. We need to see if he's trading. We need to see, because we're the only potatoes that are not trading. So here they come. That's going to let me in pretty quickly with all these horsemen. And then if he doesn't have multiple layers, I'm going to see how many relics he has too. That's that's another thing I'm very curious about. Okay, that's right. HRE walls are pretty meaty. He's building archer ranges, and we'll be through in just a second. Come on, get the wall. All right, so let's get in. Get these rams back. They've done their job. Okay, so we do a little bit of raiding here. Let's go explore the lovely empire. There we go. All right, I'm going to go see what he's got. You know, if he's got a very static army, we're going to go exploring. All right, so... <laughs> he just deleted all the traders. He just deleted more trades. Oh my god, dude. This guy. <laughs> yeah, it's a huge ass empire. I mean, Jesus. Yeah. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at him just trying to. <laughs> oh, it's so funny, dude. Alright, let's go up here and see what we can find. And you guys can come down here and go from there. And um, the Rams, we can send the Rams back in and have them start destroying shit. Potentially. We see keeps all over the place. So he's clearly very rich. Um, let's go see how vast the empire is. Yeah, we're gonna go kind of explore it. Guys, green has like 20 keeps. 
Uh, and relics. Yeah, this is looking pretty bad. He's gonna for sure win this if people don't interfere in some way, shape, or form. Alright. Yeah, but the fact that it's not the fact that he, he can afford 20 capes is the insane part, right? I don't know where his army is right now. Let's just like destroy these to be annoying and stuff. Okay, so we got the Rams coming in. They're gonna start punching in the base here. Uh huh. You guys hit that down. Okay, so he's idling a lot, but we're losing a fair amount. We see relics. Uh, I think I saw at least four relics. Yeah, so that's that's a that's a hefty amount. Um, Uvils, let's get you up here. It's a little bit safer, and we're just gonna torch farms right now. Get you guys getting on the gatehouse here. And yeah, we're we're just doing some passive raiding. He's definitely gonna be a problem, but Order of the Dragon isn't that strong. So like, even if even if they um, they are strong, like the other civs with Ottomans included should be able to do some serious work. Um, all right, so let's get these guys back. The escort rams have, have done their job, so they're gonna flee the scene now. Doing some nice raiding in the front. He's trading again. 81 trade green. Yeah, and we'll get a culver in here too. Nice. Okay. Broken record. Alright, so pulling back. Let's get these guys in, see if he's resealed the breach. We're killing a lot of farms, which is funny. Uh, he's idling his eco pretty heavily. I don't think, like, we could actually mount, like, a serious invasion on him. Yeah. Okay, I see his market here. They can look after stream and never trust you again. Yeah. So we've raided the farms pretty effectively, actually, which is pretty fun. Um, we see those guys. Uh, we found his market. It is guarded by literally a cannon tower keep. We're doing some good raiding, though. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to do that, old Wookie. Sorry. Okay. I, I'm not looking to fight a war with Japan, too. He's literally not trying to defend this area, which is which is pretty interesting. Um, I could make a lot of rams. Let's go here. Uh, get some spearmen, some archers, and some horsemen. We're just going all in on the potato units. I mean, his food economy's got to be kind of beat up now, right? A little bit. Okay, let's take these down. We, we move in with the army. It looks like he's going to move out. And we can get the rams to go up here. Yes, please. And, yeah, that's a good-ass army right there. I mean, I don't know if we can... It's even worth sending these Bombard Cannons. We should keep them back. We can't really even afford gold units. But the problem is, like, even though he's a tyrant, um, nobody else is going to attack him. They're all busy with their own, like, microcosms of conflict, right? So that's the that's the Trixie Hobbits' part. So let's get you guys to wander up here. Um, we can sneak in some more boys, maybe. Okay, so he takes the middle down. I mean, I have, like, some things... Not a whole lot. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Raided his farms as if a farm raid matters right now. We all have tons of food at this point. Alright. So we're going to keep lurking around. Okay. I don't know how, if we can fight his armies. The rams are going to move up, and um, we're going to clear all the way to the top and see what we can do there. We do find some wood bills, so let's uh, take those guys down. We see a sizable army. Um, it's going to be a massacre, but we'll do what we can. So let's get you guys running and do this. Get all you guys into the base, right into the farms back here, do a little bit of that. Yeah, it's like no way. I mean, his army's pure gold, and ours is... I mean, we can make some gold units. We probably should, um, but yeah, it's going to be very hard. All right, so where are the rams at? Rams are just going to go clear towers, so let's have them clear all the towers up north. Looking good. And that is just a jacked order army. Um, as a matter of fact, we need to get walls up like stat. So let's do this. Do that. And um, yeah, he's going to be very, very tyrannical. So hard to fight him without gold, too. So hard. Okay, what do we got here? Yeah, a couple spearmen. All right. So let's get what we can, man. The order boys are in some danger. We got the bombard cannons. The rams are creeping around. Uh, we don't have any more horsemen left in the lands. Our army supply is 98. I wonder if he's going to come for me here. Probably not. All right, we have some land snakes at least now, so maybe we can fight a little bit. Okay, so let's just uh, creep up here. Take our main army through the front. 
Okay, let's do this. And you guys can go up here. We can move you guys in the front here. Looks like that army is coming. He's busy. Uh, he's busy with me, it looks like right now. Yeah. Okay, let's get these walls down. Screw it. He doesn't need it. He's already got it. He's already got it. Yeah, and here they come. That is a thick army, dudes. Holy shit. That, that army is so good compared to mine. Okay, so these guys are going. Let's move up here. Go this way. Oh, uh, maybe this is the spot? Oh, shit. Okay, I wasn't watching. Okay, maybe the land snakes can fight it. I don't know. Let's get you guys going. Let's get some hand cannoneers. See how we can turn this fight. And um, he does have the inspired prelates, which is very tough. So start shooting those guys and start blasting through the walls. Dude, I don't know how we, we hold this. This is just super savage. Okay, thankfully the ram is coming right for the front gate, so we can just kill it real quick and then he won't be able to get in. Um, but yeah, that's 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 the idea. So let's come down here. That's gonna be the secret spot. Um, we can chase down this army a little bit. We got 15 bills here. So let's get them over here. They'll realize eventually, but he's probably not the only tyrant. You know, there's probably other people who are strong. Uh, it's not just him. Okay, so let's cannonball some of those bad boys. Yes, good. And we got you guys moving. Let's pull you guys back now. All right, so archers, you guys shoot these guys. So shoot the prelates. Um, try and take down the religious characters. <laughs> take down the the inspi inspiring figures in the army because they're they're gold intensive to remake. So, okay, if his army's running out of steam. Our haggard wood units are are doing the job. The cannons are definitely helping. We need to keep those things alive. All right. So what is that? There? Okay. It feels kind of pointless to invest in this unless I can get some, you know, support or something. Uh, Mongols 80. Yeah, Mongols are trading a lot, but somebody's going to need to pull the trigger and go wander here soon. Wookie, God knows what he's doing. Okay, that's a whole nother problem. Imperial Japan? You know, that's very scary. Okay, let me access the market or something. Shake my head. I don't think anybody's going to let you access the old trade markets. All right, so let's ride down these guys if we can. Uh, that tower should fall soon. Let's get some rams here because we have a shit ton of wood, so it's probably the only way we can actually, uh, you know, do some damage. Okay. He probably sees this. Let's keep pushing. Duking it out with these guys. Looks like there's a second wave coming of good quality units against my potatoes. Um, let's get some land snakes in there of our own. Looking good. And then you guys can just lumberjack here. Lumberjack. And uh, let's go ahead and fight for a second. He's probably going to start br bringing siege equipment in, in time. There's going to be some scary siege on the way. Yeah, rams are coming. Uh, all right. So we're going to do a little bit of rams time split pushing, which is going to be hilarious. We need to uh, head off his battering ram so we can't do too much damage. Let's pull you back. Unfortunately, just archers. All right, so horsemen, let's get you guys back. Keep these guys duking it out here. And the rams can move in and start hitting into the base here. All right. So those guys, well, let's go get his various towers around the map, just with these vills. Um, our, bar bar our bombards are running. Okay, let's go snipe, 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 snipe. You guys fight, you guys fight. Fight, fight. Yeah, just get the horsemen to target down the rams. And that way he can't get in. He's probably not going to want to bring, like, cannons and shit over. Uh, let's get you. Let's get you. And then he just is stuck outside my walls again. And um, what the hell happened to those rams? Are they attacking? They are. Cool. So let's move in. Attack that way. And, uh, yeah. All right. Looks good. We're, we're having some fun. We've thwarted his attack again, so he's certainly not... His gold isn't helping him out too much here. He's making hand cannoneers against our potato tier units, but... I'll hold for as long as I can. He's he's got gold. I don't. So it's uh, it's gonna be a, a tough one, 100%. We have our villager legion, which is just swatting his towers around. Um, his rams are down. Probably gonna bring some proper siege here in a minute. I can make these haggard units all day. Ottoman free eco is insane. Yeah, it is. It is indeed. Uh, this is not walled. So that's not good. Granted, there's no other ways in, so whatever. It's not a huge deal. Uh, let's just finish off these trees here. Run down these Order of the Dragon units. Some politics going down all around the world. 
And uh, yeah, let's set up some siege workshops and do the same thing again. We'll do the exact same thing we just did. Farm these good quality units, hopefully. Uh, can we afford some hand cannoneers? We can get we can get one. So we can get one hand cannoneer here. Um, and Wookie, I wish I wish you could send direct messages. That would be really fun. So I could politic a little bit. That's one thing I really like about Dune, actually, is like that you can do that. It's super fun. All right, so horsemen, these guys. I mean, we have a decent food eco. You guys get these rams down. Uh, is there any sense in us getting some spring alts and stuff? I don't think so. All right, so yeah, he's not going to get into our base. He's got some guys doing it over there. <laughs> do it. And um, yeah, he's found this. Yeah, all right, so these vills can just run over here in Lumberjack, no problem. I think the split pushing might be giving him a little bit of trouble. Like, I think it's distracting him from micring his army here, but it doesn't matter. It's still all gold. Yeah, he's rich as hell. Holy shit, man. All right, so these bills need to just run. We don't really mind if we lose them, although we're going to need to rebuild bills at some point. So let's get you guys down here, and these guys are stuck in the walls. Gotta love it. Um, yeah, so he's pretty tyrannical. Um, Wookie. Wookie, I am going to die to green with no gold. Uh... Unless you intervene. Alright. He's rich as fuck with all gold units. Yeah, we gotta we gotta try something here, man. Let's get some mangoes. See if that is doing it. Okay, perfect. Rams, you guys go get on the walls here. Perfect. So we we chased those guys back. Let's get spears, let's get archers, get some mangonels. Is there any wood around that we can get? It would appear there's more. Outstanding. Let's take that tower down. You guys attack these walls here. Now let's go run in some interference and see if we can hunt down artillery. That's what you always want to be doing when you're being sieged. So this kind of thing. Just like getting all this free damage on this ram so we can't get in. He's definitely had a trouble, uh, trouble protecting those. Alright, so the rams are heading to the north. We're going to go see if we can get in here. Uh, we did lose the villagers, I think some of them. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, though. All right, let's go see what we can find. He's going to eventually bring in bombards and good quality artillery, so we just treat it like a uh, like a wonder defense, basically. Okay, where, where can we go? Is there any wood around? There's a little bit there. Holy shit. Okay, Wookiee's here. There he goes. Wookiee's cutting off reinforcements? That's so funny, dude. All right, so let's just uh, let's get this cannon tower down, and let's just kill these stone towers, just the uh, stone walls, just to be annoying. And we can take our boys and go raid in the north. These pure gold armies, as you can see. You can beat uh, beat me 1v1, Wookie. But him, maybe not. Alright, so we're heading north. We got the old rams knocking down the walls. We're gonna get through some of these guys. That's my original army, Wookie. <laughs> Yeah, he says that's his original army. Oh my god. I don't think Wookiee's that foolish. I think Wookiee will know. Um, Alright, so we got our troopers here. We're getting a bunch of horsemen through. We're going to go see what we can find in this corner. Maybe there's some forbidden treasure. Who knows? I don't know what Blue's doing, actually. I'm not sure. These are elite gelded land schnecks, so we can actually kill them with the horsemen. Um, they're pretty squishy. See you in five, he says. Okay. So nobody's wondering yet. We're going to move to the north. Um, we have a lot of army in queue. Thankfully, our, our wood is coming back. But wood's going to become sparse, actually, soon. Um, all right. So how are we looking up here? Yeah, we got more uh, more walls, it would appear. All right, so let's go ahead and ram those down and keep exploring. Um, we got some bills here, so let's do this. And we can build a little... Uh, little palisade there to prevent that from being walled. Let's get rams here and here. Actually, just one's fine. It's not even upgraded. All right. So I don't know if he's going to come back. Um, at some point, we're going to try and secure trade. You're, you, the thing is, in FFA, you're never, like, out of the game, you know? You can always rat your way back somehow, you know? Yeah. Okay, let's take down these towers. These are going to do it. Wookie, Wookie did come to my aid a little bit. I mean, I, my logic, I think, is pretty sound. Like, if I die, Wookie's dead. That guy will probably drown him in gold because he's got what appears to be four or five relics. Um, among other things, right? So, yeah, we're setting up a wall here. 
We'll do that so it's a little bit harder to wall. Let's get you in there. I ain't. Don't worry. My horse. <laughs> All right. So moving up here, we found his traders. He deletes all his traders again. Why? Why is he? Why is he trying to actually hide him from me? You know, like as if it's gonna make a difference. Okay. Let's see this. And we're just doing like annoying things right now. Try and make it a little bit trolly. Um. So we saw his trade. I don't think I even need to say anything anymore. I think people know he's strong. Um, they likely do. Yeah, and stone isn't going to be as as relevant as it once was. Okay, so you guys head up here. Let's get on these trees. And we uh, wall that, and we take down these walls here. We need to just demolish all this presence up here to um, mitigate you know, the future for trade and whatnot, so, um... Alright, so what do the Mongols have? Do they have anything up here? Like a market? I don't think so. Looks like it's just some falling buildings. Um, alright. So looking good. I mean, I'm getting 159 gold a minute. Hell yeah, dude. So good. Uh, Green is coming back with a shit ton of bombards, so let's go see if we can snipe those. He's probably gonna come over here, I would wager. Let's go get that. He might come from my base, so on that note, let's get a bunch of spring alts. Yeah, I think that's going to be the play. Um, let's delete these, uh, some of these guys, get some good units. And are these Vils? These are Vils. Okay. So we can we can ride those down, hopefully. Here and here. Big scary armies coming, but maybe we can get enough artillery to be okay. Okay, back on the walls you go. Let's go here. And we're going to lose a lot of villagers here, unfortunately. Let's go see if we can lumberjack safely back here. All right, so these guys go here. How's our defenses looking? I mean, I could just be dead here. Although, if we can snipe these bombards, then um, that's going to be pretty big. So I think that's got to be the priority here. Right, set up a tower. Come back, try and get the bombards. Um, meet him outside the base with this force as a distraction. Let's get these rams in here. And go from there. All right. So he's like looking pretty giga chad. Five bombards, you know, among other things. 37. I mean, I might need to delete some eco here, but we need to keep that wood flow going. Because all my wood units are wood based. Okay, Wookiee is here actually. So let's do this. Yeah, I think Wookiee is learning that, you know. Okay, let's do that. And you guys can jump in here. Okay, we got the cannons. And our horsemen are coming down to help. The Chad Wookie. But Wookie, I wonder how hard in the paint he's gonna go. We're definitely just being annoying here. Okay, let's see this. Get the horsemen heading north. He can't really even get into our base now, so I'm like, whatever. We just go back here. Take the horsemen back north. And um, those bills are getting pops, unfortunately. Damn, that no, was sloppy. All right, so yeah, they just got dunked on a little bit. Um, we got you guys, let's bring you over here. Do this. Rams are working on the old keep. And now we can get in and raid the farm eco a little bit. If he, if we can get rid of green, we can go north to south trade. So somehow we can 2v1 him, maybe. Um, Doxy, you gain nothing from killing Terran? Yeah, he just wants it. He wants the blood. Alright, come on, horseman. Come on. And uh, do we have siege workshops here? Okay, so the rams are slowly clearing out the wall. Um, we're getting back. And then we can go in and attack again. And ram that down. Yes, please. Okay, you guys hang here. You guys get on the walls. We got horsemen ready to party. Round two. And these bills can go build some siege workshops up here. So let's do that. And they're pretty, pretty affordable to do. Alright, let's get this. We see the gilded land snakes over here. Okay, rams, let's go. Uh, let's start printing some villagers here. We're going to need them when we lose all those wood villagers. Which inevitably is going to happen. All right. So yeah, he's got his he's got his raiders coming for us here. Let's come down and down. All right. I don't want it. He has had it. He deletes when I see it. Yeah. So the trade needs to be controlled. Let's go in the front and see if I can if I can get it. So you guys come back. Is there any wood left? There is a patch in the back. Okay, so there is a little something something for us here. Um, the Haggard rating here is probably going to come to an end. I mean, we can always do this later. Okay. 
Wookiee can move to the south. Let's go see what the trade looks like on the bottom. I mean, the Mongols aren't really a threat, I don't think. Like, Ottomans can keep them in check, right? Like, how could the Ottomans not keep them in check? That feels like it's it's got to be the case. Okay, we see a dead trader there. Moving to the south. Hmm. Yeah, Ottomans are pretty insane late game. They are. They really are, for sure. Got a couple rams coming. We've made it annoying here, for sure. Okay, so we're going to decap the sacred site with our horsemen. We see some loose armies over here. Um, so let's take our, like, our, our core... Take our small army and go disrupt that. And then we're going to go assess the trade situation, see if there's anything we can do. Cancel that. Looks like those guys are moving that way. Um, these guys can go down here. And you guys just build the siege workshop. And that's been decapped. Alright, so the sacred site's been neutralized. Let's run this way, see what we can do. The old rams, man. Rams, rams are the peasants' tools. Yeah, so is any, somebody's got to be trading with this one, right? There's got to be, like, a lumberjack through here. Yeah, fishing is nice. Very good stuff. Okay, so up top. Still being raided a little bit. I think we're okay to chill out for now and just bank resources. I hate being passive, but it's it's kind of kind of looking like if we might need to be here. Our eco is 78, which is very poor. So we need to uh, we need to get better eco here. And there's still some wood patches up here, I believe. Yeah, there's a couple little like trees and different things like that. Yes, ride my wood armies, ride them down, show them the meaning of wood. I get 800 G's, baby. Oh, that's right. We have this this patch back here. So let's do this and do this. So nobody is wondering anytime soon. I give up. I exist to ram spam someone. Yeah, we're going to see. I think that Nani Ori might have fallen. We'll see. Uh, autos. So what is fight like down there? Is it over, I wonder? Are they still fighting? You know, that's, that's kind of what I'm curious about. Um, we need to keep the artillery in the base. We don't want to bring that out. Because in case he mounts an offensive against us, we're going to need the spring ults. Okay. Uh, so, probably green has uh, trade controlled. <laughs> yeah. And uh, four relics, at least. It's just too... You didn't share relics. <laughs> we can't be friends if you don't share relics. All right, let's come up here. Let's lumberjack this a little bit. Um, yeah, green's going to probably be the next target. And um, tithe barns, like, is it worth it? No, I don't think so at all. Uh, he has four confirmed. Uh, when I was raiding, I saw. Yeah. Maybe five. Yeah, he could have more. Let's clean out these buildings here. Um, I don't know how this is going to go. This is a really weird lobby. It's a really weird lobby. Nobody really has too much going on here. I don't know what the Ottomans are doing, right? We, we have no idea. Let's get some towers up to make it a little bit harder. Um, we've cleared this stuff out. Do we have any, like, Ramstein workshops anymore? I don't believe we do. Let's get a Ramstein workshop there. Nope, you guys stay in the base. And, um... Yeah, so are we gonna turn on... Green bought stone, did he? Let's check. Uh, somebody's buying stone a little bit. Not too hard. It could be anyone, man. It could be anyone. Um, let's get our horsemen. Let's come back to the base for now. We've cleared out that tree patch, um, and we want to secure this. I mean, although Japan doesn't give a shit about walls, they're just going to ozutsu you. So we, what's the point of even building them? Uh, we do have a wood patch here, which seems to be pretty good. So let's go um, try and secure that one. We need to get as much wood as we possibly can. Yeah, the Civil War of the Giga Chads begins. It does. It does indeed. Okay, let's build some towers, towers, and towers. Um, towers there. So we see villagers doing God knows what. So let's send some of these guys up there to go keep them honest. Yeah, we see a market in the corner. So, uh, All right, so let's go take that down with our dudes. We can take a couple of villagers over there too. Maybe to go try and ninja wall that or something. Yeah, I don't know. And I hate moving out with these. It sucks. 
Okay. So he's definitely got good trade control. And uh, let's get these horsemen to head up here. Yes. All seven of them. Could buy a little bit of stone. It's not cost effective per se, but we can um, we can finish walling this. Yeah, we can finish walling this. And uh, that should shut down any like trade shenanigans here. Yeah, because he can't wall here. Okay, so we have the uh, villagers coming across to get that wood. That's what she said. Yeah, he's got a lot of keeps. He's got a hell of a lot of keeps. And did he actually legit do a full wall around this? Oh my god, look at that. Okay. So, yeah, let's get some of these. One, two, three, four. Green trading on top of map. I saw him build market just now. All right. You guys need to uh, get it together. All right, so we're setting up some rams. Uh, I could take my little raiding force up there, my army, I guess, which I guess is a raiding force. It's not much more than that. Very elite. Um, and we can set up some more farms, which uh, might help. All right, so some more farms. We got the old Ramstein coming along. It's going to be hard, yeah, because we're currently... Uh, what is our eco at right now? It's back up to 100, which is good. You have free reign to hold that area. No, I definitely don't. This, this, he's very persistent with his, his, his counter politicking, which I respect. Let's uh, blast you guys, get rid of some of these. I feel like just spamming mostly... Um, let's count, can, count, cancel these, do that. And Ram should be out in a second. All right, so let's get a couple of those. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. Uh, all right. So yeah, red caught him. Uh, so yeah, I'm in, I'm in mid now. It's 80 or so. Okay. Everyone's starting to call out his lies here, which is good. The alliance is forming. Um, we have a tower coming up, which is good. Let's get another tower here. And uh, let's start ramming down these walls. All right, so we're gonna ram the walls and uh, try and shut down that trade. So there they go. So moving in. Okay. So we're moving in. We're gonna we're gonna get in here and start disrupting and raiding again. Let's get a couple of you guys to come down this way and raid that. We need to press like a couple different angles and just try and you know troll troll about. I feel like I need more stables. Horsemen are like the only thing that we uh, we really have going for us. All right. So let's uh, just attack here. Get these vills to come. Set up these towers here. And he probably deleted the mark. I don't know even why. Why does he bother deleting it? Like, I already know. And it's not like it's going to change anyone's opinion or anything, you know? It's very weird. It's very weird. All right. So let's get that. All right. So we're going to move in there. Start ramming in the north. And we also do have the rams heading to the south. So let's get some of those. Get the horsemen there. And uh, yeah, here we go, baby. Let's we'll see if we can get in. Probably not going to be a whole lot of, you know, efficiency, but at least we are going to wall the north out, so it's going to be harder for him. All right, so get the rams out of the control group. They're moving in. These villagers taking all the wood. Maybe if we become the overlords of wood, right? We we take all the wood on the map. And we win that way. All right. I don't know if anybody else is attacking him. I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. But the fact that there's no army waiting for us here makes me think that maybe that is the case. Alright, so let's take this keep down. You know, that's that's hard. I don't think Nani Yori... Nani Yori's been battling, you know, a super hard opponent the entire game. Red has always been trading, I don't deny it. Yeah, see, at least there's honesty there. Alright, so let's get in here. Raid into the base a little bit. Let's ride down there, see what we can find. Let the rams uh, get in and start purging out these farms. And where is the defense? He must be fighting somebody else. There must be some shenanigans. Okay, so we find these guys. Find some bills there. Um, farms are getting cleared out. I was before 15 traders. Yeah, right, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude. All right, so let's get this. Set a little wall here. Um, by that, and then we can do that to make it harder to wall. And now we just start ramming down all the shit. Seeing what we can do. Maybe we can actually get some progress done here. I'm, like, tempted to bring my siege engines. Uh, all right, let's get a tower there. Yeah, I think he's being attacked by somebody else. Granted, I have dog shit supply lines here, so, uh, you know, it's not going to happen. But we are getting some ram, ram spam damage. 
Alright, so yeah, this is uh, obviously not what we want here. So let's get you guys back and you guys. We got that all secured. We could have left his... Well, I guess he would have uh, turned and blue red are trading together peacefully. Yeah, well. I think, uh, I think I'd think i rather see him go because he's got relics. So if he dies, I can maybe scavenge relics and get back in the game. You know, that's that's to me the game plan. So we got this haggard wall off here, which is really funny. Um, let's get on the keep here and get a couple horsemen there. You guys come around there. We did bring our siege equipment, which at this point we could replace it, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, cool. So that should be fine. Let's go ahead and set up some walls there. Yeah, hey, we lag. Gods love me. Yeah, yeah. We don't need that. Okay. So he's got a big-ass army. That army is just pure gold. Holy shit. I feel like nothing I have is going to make a difference. The only thing I can do is horseman raid. Yeah, which is working quite well. Um, for sure. Okay, so let's just switch into mass horsemen. We can send our archers to go fight and do a little bit of damage. Um, you guys are going to head home in case we get attacked. And um, yeah, we can just mass horsemen up here. All right, so let's get you guys in. Uh, we got the wall off there. Definitely annoying. And what do we got here? Horsemen arriving, horsemen arriving. Okay, so we got 16 of those bad boys against the order of the chads. Um, we've denied trade, so we're keeping him honest at least, you know? Even though we're not, like, in a p position to win this or anything at this point. I mean, you never know. Things change for sure. Let's go see. I'm, I'm genuinely curious what Wookiee is doing, too. The old Wookiee. Yeah, I have no idea what he's up to. Okay, let's, uh, can we beat that army? That's a lot of launch necks, so maybe. So they're not super good against cavalry units, so let's move up there and take those bad boys down. As a matter of fact, let's just uh, let's just ride by with the horsemen here, here, and here, and then these guys can engage, and then we'll just replace with all horses basically. All right. So the horse chads are on the way. The archers are wearing them down. I could micro those, but I'd rather just focus on the horses. All right. So these guys are going to get in. He's got some troops coming here. We have the wall, so we can't rewall that as easily. We got all that wood. That was a shit ton of wood. Um, but wood is like, yeah, wood is becoming very sparse, guys. Like, very sparse. Alright, so we have a spot there. Let's get our horse and riding by. Wonder if anybody's fighting. Yeah, we're trying, man. We're getting 159 gold a minute. You know, it's pretty sweet. Let's get you guys up north. Uh, rams can just start destroying walls. Doesn't really matter where. We've hit the farms. Like, his food's gotta be not great. Although, I think he's got more food in his actual main base. Um, so let's like just do a, a like a deep run by here and see what we can observe. Got a lot of guys idled there. Yeah, those guys gonna get chopped up. No problem. Let's go here and uh, here and here. We're in the old empire here. You can't rewall that. Um, maybe how many horsemen would we need to effectively actually hurt some landmarks? Looks like we've got some wood in the base. Okay, do a little bit of damage. A little bit of raiding going. We're just being the haggard potato master because we, we have no gold. Where are we at? Oh, and there's actually an opening right there too. Okay, so let's uh, let's see if we can like wall that. So we can't seal that. We can delete it at our, uh, you know, at our whim. Anybody attacking us? I don't think so. Uh, all right. So we got 23 horsemen. Maybe that's enough to bully down to keep. I'm not sure. Rams are going after random shit. Let's make some more. Um, villagers head over to wood. Alright. I exist the ram. Well, we're going to see if the rams are necessary. Gilded pot. Yeah, we're not so golden. I mean, I can sell food. Which is probably not a bad idea. I think uh, people have been selling food though, so. It's not great. We got villagers nearby if we're ready to troll. Um, Alright, cool. So let's move around. And uh, just try and take down keeps and stuff. I don't know if this many horsemen would be able to take down a keep, to be honest with you. I assume he's rewalled. I'm a little too far away for him to, I think, actually attack. Is there any way I could amass traders? I should probably prep traders just to be safe. Let's just kill infrastructure because wood's going to become sparse. So if we just kill random ass buildings, it's uh, it's going to be it's going to be annoying, right? Okay, so we see those guys. Enemy capturing sacred site, no problem. Who knows what that's going to be. Some fun times, I'm sure. Alright, so let's get the trade going. Just torch down buildings. 16 lanchets, 28. Yeah, yeah, I know. So, Blue's fighting him. I am raiding at the moment. 
Alright. Yeah, he can emergency repair this, so it's kind of pointless. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we did some damage there. We took down some houses, so let's go get some more of those. Just trying to tax the, uh, tax the wood, right? Yeah, and these guys, unfortunately, are a bit of a problem. I don't know if these horsemen can win, but we're going to go try. Yeah, he's got those keeps in the backfield. Pretty nice. Back sacred. Yeah, maybe the horsemen can win. Let's go find out. Go! Gilded horsemen are so good. Man, the HP, the damage output. It's a great unit. It's a great unit. You can fight really well without gold with them. It's not ideal, obviously, but... Yeah. I think he's kind of given up this, like, northern portion. Um, and now let's actually maybe do a little bit of this, right? So let's go over here, and we can start on building this. Okay. I mean, we have the wood, right? So it looks like he's walled this region for the most part. Um, is he doing wood here? I don't think so. Set up a tower there. And it looks like there's a villager uh, perhaps stuck in the wall, which is a classic. This uh, keep isn't going to get emergency repairs. So I think it might be time for the uh, Duhast. It might be time. Because it looks like he's fighting somebody else. Alright, so let's get on this. Um, we can take our army up here. We're actually going to bring in the big guns now, so let's do that. And um, you guys are doing some seriously long distance shit due to my potato skills. Alright, let's get you. And uh, then we're going to need to get some siege workshops too. Alright, so let's get some siege workshops. Alright, so 39 horsemen. Let's blitz through, shut down this wood eco here. And uh, he's trying to trying to seal this one. I don't know if he's going to be able to. Can you actually seal that, or can we get in? Let's see. No, we can still get in there. All right, let's uh, see if we can get in with the boys before he's able to seal that. Uh, maybe we do? Maybe? I think he's going to get it. Yeah, and then we just go around the top again. All right, so we got trade for the inevitable time in which that is relevant. We got 34 horsemen. All right, so let's move it. So five, that can go to seven. The great thing about not being a threat is you can feel um, you can feel pretty pretty safe, right? Yeah, you can you can feel pretty cozy and comfortable. Oh, green's coming here. Okay, so we just killed those bills, no problem. So it looks like he's finished with his uh, his other prize here. So is he going to come all the way up here? Probably will. Um, maybe so. But now we have a good raiding force in the base. Let's go get the rams. Uh, we can cancel a lot of these stuff. Yeah, let's cancel. He's going to come. And uh, you guys need to cancel, cancel, cancel. So he's likely going to come up here and get all this. Okay, so unfortunately, yeah, you guys go back to the base. And the raiding force can come in, and we can start clearing out keeps and stuff. Yeah, he's got a, got a really good army. It's really good. Alright, hide up here, boys. Hide up here. You horsemen get into the base here. Let's get you in. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty fun. He's got he's got a lot going on here. All right, so let's pull you guys over, villagers, and we can just rebuild here. All right, so they can rebuild there, no problem. Graham should be able to get in. It's only going to take a moment. And uh, he's going to discover all this, and then he's going to, you know, deal with it. But it's still going to take a moment. It's still going to take a moment. So let's, let's get all the bills in. We got the rams going. He's got to be getting attacked by two people, right? Because the fact that I, like, he doesn't, yeah, it doesn't see, it's, it must be, there must be multiple attackers here. Alright, so we're about to get in, and we're going to screw this wall up too, which is hilarious. Alright, so we're in. Let's get the rams coming. They can go out for the keep here. And uh, these vills can go ahead and, uh, let's buy a little bit of stone here. Do this, and that. It's like the most annoying thing ever when that happens. It's like super obnoxious. Uh, he's going to get emergency repairs, though, so he might be able to actually do something. Let's get some horsemen popping out. It's going to help with the push. And uh, burning oil does certainly hurt, but it's all good. Okay, so we're trying to make this base nice and ugly. Okay. Yes. So you guys get on that. Emergency repair is going down, but we still should get it. Well, that burning oil is doing a surprising amount of damage. All right. So we've got reinforcements coming. We're gathering dudes for the dude god back here. Um, we're going to need to figure out the wood situation soon. Looks like that's going to fall. All right. Let's do this and this. And get that landmark. Okay. Okay. Just try and make it like hard to, hard to do it. I mean, it's actually not going terribly, all things considered. 
We got one landmark down, so he must be busy fighting somebody. Alright, so let's go into the base here. That's really good. Um, it looks like down here we have another keep, so let's go get that. And let's set up some towers back here. We can make them into stone if we want to. Matter of fact, there's a little bit of stone to be had here. There's actually 240, which ain't bad. And uh, cool. So let's get that keep. Let's get the rams moving down. Um, is he going to try and repair it is the question? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, so we can just attack there. No problem. And uh, we got towers coming up. We got more horsemen over here. He's doing some sweaty micro to try and save it, which, um, you know, it's going to be hard to replace. Definitely going to be hard to replace. And do we have anything for these walls here? We do not. We need to We need to do that, so we can't get through those as easily here. And uh, in the meantime, we're just kind of a gremlin in the corner. Yeah, oh no, we don't want you guys to come there. All right, so we got villagers here, and um, we can do a lot with them. Let's come over here. All right, so that's going to be a... Uh, let's get a cannon tower here. Do that. He's coming across with a big army. Uh-oh, he's gathering my, my, my doors, it looks like. So this is the time where we... Did I actually save my good quality units? I don't think I... No, did I? Spring alts? All right. So maybe he's coming to attack me. I don't know. I saw some guys out front, but... I should be able to muster a uh, big army here. But he's going to want to defend his base, I would imagine. Uh, it could get a little bit scary for him. Alright, let's do that. And you guys ram that down. Um, if he comes for us here... I don't know. It's, a, it's pretty dodgy. It's pretty dodgy for sure. Yep, he's coming to try and kill me here. So we're going to see what his army is compromised of. Let's get the spring alts first and foremost. Let's get these horsemen out and they can ride and go try and get these bombards. And we need to get you to snipe this and this. Get some bills coming over to repair the walls. And all right, perfect. So we got that going. We're going to try and snipe these. Spring alts should be in range to get the bombard soon. All right, so let's get those. Yes, good. And can we get another one? Find out. Come on. That's going to be one down at least. All right, great. So he's got a big army here for sure. Um, these villagers might need to fight here. Let's do this, this, this. And uh, we just need to spam crappy units basically at this point. Yeah, we're getting absolutely land snaked over there, which is brutal. All right, let's get into the main base, get these going. And these villagers need to get started on this. I think that's all we have over here is those bills. So I don't know how we're going to hold, guys. Uh, it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a very tough hold. All right. Yeah, yep, just get all the wood units you possibly can. Try and lure them into the keeps, basically, is, is the game plan. We do have emergency repairs and mangonels and, you know, our one our one uh, tower here. It's pretty pretty glorious. All right, so let's keep fighting. Um, you guys come over the top and go here and here and get that. But into the main base, um, we do have some Ramstein opportunities here, eventually. Uh, the greens got me, lads. Uh, Wookie, this is your chance, Wookie. This is your one one opportunity to be a hero that Gotham needs. All right, so we're trying to shoot, trying to stop him. Let's grab you guys and go for the bombard cannon. It's gonna be it's gonna be uh, pretty good. We got 13 bills in here, which I was wondering where they went. I was like, what the hell, where'd they go? All right, the classic no wood, uh, no gold versus gold here. And um, yeah, these Rams need to keep fighting. Okay, we got this keep up. Let's get emergency repairs on that. I think his army's losing a little bit of a little bit of speed, a little bit of momentum here. We're gonna need to rebuild our eco super hard though, so let's like start spamming out bills there. Yeah, we're making progress. The emergency repairs are hanging in there pretty firm. Let's go repair that. And now he's got bills coming back. Okay, so let's get some of these, and we can also build some uh, stables back here, which I think is gonna be the play. And um, now we just keep blasting. Yeah, we're getting momentum. We're getting a little bit of momentum here. Uh, you guys go torch that down. Yeah. And yeah, he's getting pushed back. Wow, I can't believe he wasn't able to kill us. Okay, I'll take it. We're, we're surviving. Let's get some more rams for the ram gods and keep shooting away. Looks like we maybe fend those off for now. Oh my god, it's so much wood. And we're going to run out of wood eventually soon, too, for spamming all these freaking rams. You know, it's going to be it's going to be tough. But I think we need to, right? And we need to make some horsemen here to kill the villagers that are going to try and get us. Yeah, that archer that archer position is pretty nasty, actually. Wookie gets a wonder. Holy shit. Wow. Okay. So let's get these rams down. Just use them. And um, you villagers can go over and jump on the wood line here. 
Did Wookie really go for a wonder? For real? Alright, so we got Rams going in. A couple of horsemen will also pop out. We fended off his armies. The Chad Wood armies versus the, the Virgin Gold armies here. Alright, let's just take these down to make sure shit doesn't get too crazy. Ironically, would we actually win this conflict somehow? With this like weird ram backdoor and stuff? I don't know, man. So, Culverin, let's get that. We're getting into his base. Um, the autos... Autos and Nanny should be able to potentially take Wookie. I'm also going to turn, but I'm... Um, yeah, I'm like hurting here, guys. I'm hurting. Okay, let's emergency repair that. Rams are still getting into the base, so he's going to be supply capped here in a second, 100%. And let's get these horses on the bills to prevent them from uh, stopping it. And uh, yeah, we're kind of back online here, which is weird as hell. All right, so look at these rams just tearing through his base. The back, the dreaded backdoor Haggardstein is here. Um, all right, so now I need to just, I need to figure this out. So we got what, two wonders? Old Wookiee has one and Zinch is champion? Wow. Um, holy shit. Okay then, so that's that's something. Let's get you guys to go get on these bills. His base is getting absolutely obliterated by these rams. Um, all right. So let's get you guys down. Let's get this. I can't believe we won those fights. I thought he was going to kill us 100%. I mean, his economy has got to be crippled now, right? Um, there's two wonders. We need one wonder to be deleted. Yeah. So the Rams have gotten in. They've done some good work. Um, I'm going to chill out on the Ram Steining for now. I ain't going to kill you. Yeah. I'm not that much of a potato. I'm not like a salt player. I'm not going to kill him just because we've been fighting. Uh, I would like to get some relics, though, if possible, actually. That would be cool. So let's see if we can steal some relics from him. That would be cool. Maybe we can get our clutches on some of those. Okay, where are the relics at? There's one of this tower here. And let's delete some of you guys. Free up those horsemen over there. Okay, so we got the horses coming across to hunt those bills down. I would like to get my paws on a relic, so we're going to try and do that. Is there a relic up here, actually? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. So we're going to uh, align and prepare to go after the old Wookiee here in a minute. Um, so we need to just get rams going here, but I don't have much, like, pushing power, to be honest. It's not great. Um, we got the horsemen clearing the bills out. Did we get those ones? No, they didn't. Okay, you guys come down here. We just want to get that relic. That would be sweet. Yeah. All right, so we got that down. He's going to lose a lot of bills. And um, we're going to grab this. All right, so let's head down this way. Let's see if we can grab the relic. <laughs> He's definitely hurting here. Can we get it? Holy shit, if we get that relic, I'm going to be so happy. Oh, my God. Uh, no more units are coming. I am attacking Wookiee now. Okay, are we going to get the relic? Maybe. <laughs> we got him pretty good. All right. So we got to switch over here now, man. Um, we got rams coming down. We're going to be hitting the Japanese. The wonder is pretty close to us. So maybe there's a chance. Um, yeah, we, we're stealing his wood. We did a shit ton of damage, too. Like, that was that was brutal. He, he definitely took a lot. We couldn't get the relics, though. But like you know, I'm I, I'm a play to win guy, and if I don't, if he doesn't help us, we lose. So I'm not I'm not gonna attack him anymore. I'm just gonna sw switch my haggard ass push over here to the Japanese. It's a shame though. We had a nice little uh, setup there. I think we I think if we had gone harder, we could have maybe gotten him. So all right, so that's good. Uh oh. Okay. He was at, he was at my base when when the wonders were down. You know, and of course I had to had to fend him off. Okay, pushing up here. Let's keep moving in. All right, so we're we're making some progress here against the imperial uh, imperial units here. What do we got, samurai? Okay, here comes the do hostening. I I think we just lose though. There's two wonders, right? Like, how the hell are we gonna get both of those? Um, unless we could, like, politic, like, delete politic or something, maybe. 
I gotta leave one market in case the Japanese player dies. I need I need a market. All right. So you guys keep going. Nope. Leave leave that market alone. It's our only opportunity for trade. Um, you know what? As a matter of fact, let's start getting the traders pumping out right now. Shit, we don't have we have like no money. God, I can't even make traders, guys. I'm such a I'm just a freaking potato right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ask him for a relic and negotiate. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Those order archers are pretty sick. How hard did they actually hit? They hit for 16 with their bows? No, 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 no. God, my rams in every game have just such a hard on for... Um... So Wookiee probably doesn't seem like he's going to be able to defend this. You know, and I still have this operation here, which is great. I'm stealing all his wood. Um, yeah, we got samurai coming. Rams are making good progress. Um, we have another keep here, so let's just go get the keeps down. Um, you guys fight here. Let's get some gilded spearmen. I'm out of wood now. Straight up. Great. So we have the trade machine, which should be coming online soon. Let's do this. Um, we've worn down. No rams. No. Let's go. Let's go here. Uh, I wouldn't say that was the wrong decision, RK. Like, I think uh, trying to secure a relic so I have a chance later on is important. Because as it currently stands, I have no chance. Um, because I'm just too poor and shitty. So... If I sacrifice a little bit of wonder time to try and secure a relic or two, I think it's worth it. Um, otherwise, I have no chances, right? So, yeah. Do we have the traders coming down? Yes. Oh, the blessed 12. It's coming. Okay, I'm really close to the wonder, actually. So that's good. Um, holy towers. Yeah, he's got a lot of towers. The Mongols do. He's trying to work through a lot of manganels here. Um, this is going to be hard. I love I love this trade opportunity as well. Yeah, who, who's actually ahead? Nanny and Wookie. Hmm. Yeah, Ottomans are pushing. How how do the Ottomans not kill the Mongols? Is really my question. Okay, so we still have a lot of a lot of these open, and we can emergency repair that while it's on cooldown. Let's just keep moving through infrastructure. Oh, you guys really need to stop shooting that. Let's uh, set the hockey this way. And he's got uh, what appears to be some good artillery back there, some blobs. So the order of the Chad army will uh, keep fighting here. Um, we got the trade going. Now let's go ahead and set up a trade market up here, if possible. So let's set it up there. That's probably a good spot for like a very conservative, safe trade route. Uh, all right. So gilded spears. I mean, man, I can. I'm. I'm making scouts now, guys. Like I'm making scouts. I don't have like a wood bank. We're gonna need to get on the walls here. I'm trying to trade. And uh, Wookie's got pretty stalwart defenses. I would imagine. Enemy destroyed old Wookiee's landmark. So he's being attacked on two fronts. Yeah, he's losing on two fronts here. Um, I don't know if the Ottomans are going to get close to that, though. I wonder. Man, Gilded Archers are great, dude. All right, we got a couple more Rams on the way. A couple Springwalds should be arriving soon. All right. Uh, the relics of the players. So I know for a fact HRE has four relics. I don't know if Japanese has any. As a matter of fact, I don't believe they do. Um, and getting down here. Okay, Nanny's Wonder is destroyed. So now we just need to get the old Wookiee, right? So it's going to be a couple players down. Green's probably going to wander, but ironically, we're pretty set up to, to attack him after this, which is which is good. My scouts have arrived, my, my scouting legions. All right, so let's get this, and traders can go there. And uh, let's get our markets and pump out more traders. And now, uh, what is that going to be, the trader? No, 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 bad. God, dude. My military is so unruly. All right. So I'm close-ish to the wonder. We're all trying. It's we have six minutes. That's plenty of time. I think I think we get there. Yeah, the haggard the haggard ram push will uh, will rise from the ashes of the old world here. All right, so you guys go get on farms, and then it's gonna be um yeah. Nanny's wonder is gone. Okay, let's take you guys. And just keep attacking here. Um, spam some horsemen out. And what kind of trade is this? It's Fifty a pop. Okay, so that's like pretty respectable. We can even, um, we can get you guys, go down here, yes. I love that this market is just like lurking here, it's so funny. Let's see if we can go even deeper, like up here. Alright, enemy destroyed Wookiee's landmark, Rams are a little bit stuck here, so let's take down the house and then do this. Overstone walls, he's saying? Okay, the wonder was deleted, or destroyed. Maybe the Ottoman Great Bombard's got the kill, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go... See what we can loot, man. I mean, shit. It's one less player. You know, I kind of want to leave him alive. Uh, because he has an E. Okay, he has one relic. Okay, it's better than nothing. Let's go get that if we can. 
Okay, so let's get this. Do that. Do we have any religious characters sitting around? We do have one. Okay, let's get him here. If we can get that, I mean, I'd call it a bit of a moral victory, especially if Wookie leaves that market. Okay, so Wookie's repairing. People are still trying to kill him. Maybe, maybe I can get that relic. I don't know. We're going to try. Um, let's come over here and grab it. Okay, so then we get a uh, wander down on the other side. So we need uh, Wookie. Leave him alive. Yeah, we need the Wookie. All right, where's that religious character? He should be hustling down here. And if we can secure trade as well as a uh, relic, you know, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. I love how I still have this, like, haggard backdoor operation here. Okay, so where is that? Uh, what the hell? What? Where did you get this relic from? Let's go put that there. Jesus, what the hell's going on here? What is this? What is this, amateur hour? Okay, here he comes. So, yeah, we need to get this relic and then bring it back here. And, um... Yeah, and then from there, we just kill some more houses. But we really, really need to get that relic. So that will then get us two. And uh, I think it's worth getting Tide Barns at this point. Uh, our walls in the front were never repaired. So very potato. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm just getting my prize. Where the hell is that religious dude? Didn't they have oh, there he is. Okay. I just don't want to risk losing, um, losing this. Yeah, that and then that. We need, we're, we're getting our relics. Alright, so we're just taking our goodies home. And we can, um, leave, we'll delete the rams here in a second. We have a little bit of dough. Not too much. Um, blue is very hard for me to get to, unfortunately. So let's get some bills out here. And we can take this military, which is very expensive. And, uh, we're running with the relic, so that's gonna be a second relic. I, that was probably all he had, honestly. I doubt he had more. And this trade is uh, absolutely hilarious, by the way. It's just, it's just such a meme. Alright, so let's get that long distance goodness going. That's going to be 99 a pop. That's like really strong. So, um, if we can get that while pushing, we, we definitely can get back in this game. So let's take army mid. Um, let's grab a bunch of food bills for now. We're going to need you guys, and they're going to come mid, and we're going to go this way. And we need to leave this wall up. I wonder how long he's going to let us trade for. Stone wall is market? No, he's just going to... He could just delete it. So many great bombards. Yeah, of course. All right. So the boys are moving. We got this going. Um, yeah, and we got we got this trade route, which is pretty rad. It's pretty rad. Wow, several wonders dying here. Several wonders. No, he, he'll just delete it. There's no sense in walling that. If he if he w doesn't want me to have it at any point, you know, I'm not going to have it. Um, all right, so green is here. I can attack through the middle. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's set up some siege workshops right in the mid. And take our army over to support. I will push mid. How long do we have? 12 minutes? Give or take? Okay. Do this to make it a little bit harder. We could wall our market here. That would be a little bit more prudent, I think. Um, Alright. There's no room? Yeah, we'll see. We're going to have to micro our way. Yeah, unfortunately, Green's, green's uh, infrastructure is going to need to be removed. So, did we get that relic dropped off? We did. Cool. So, we got two relics now, which is great. And, um, yeah, that that's still going, which is hilarious. So, probably, let's slap the base on this. We got horsemen coming down to help. Um, we got the ram infrastructure being set up and a wood line here. We're probably just going to run shit from our base. Um, we see the Japanese. How can I get across here? Ugh, this is tough. Okay, you just stay there, buddy. That's a, that's a nice one. Okay, Japan's trying to move through here. Um, we got the siege workshops. All right, that's a, pretty much all the wood we have, so we're going to need to uh, just ram spam here. So I need to move through these towers. It's really tricky. Um, okay, hold on. I actually have an idea. So let's grab some of you guys. Do this. Come over here and get some uh, docks. I'm just clearing these out. I will go. I will go by water, which is the most haggard shit ever, but it, it's going to have to be. Can I even get a boat here? I don't think I can. Okay, so we see... Yeah, this is very, very janky. Maybe there's an area to set up in in his empire? I don't know. Killed 13 great bombards. Um, we need Nanny to Nanny to move and not attack. Uh, Nanny, watch mid. 
I don't want to like kill Nanny's army, but if it's blocking me, I have to, you know. Nanny! Nanny, please! Please, no, not like this! Uh, Nanny, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you chasing my shit? And killing my villagers? Nanny! Please! Uh, red is defending blue. Red is... What, what is this shit? Wait. What? Is he... Uh, why are you defending wonder, Red? That's a little weird. Um, maybe I need to go through here and make another route. I think this, this has got to be a mistake, right? It's got to be a mistake. Um, that keep there, unfortunately, is killing a lot of my bills, so we'll just go over here and grab this. I don't know what's going on here. This is weird. He's probably lagging, you think? Uh, this looks pretty orchestrated. I see rally points coming here. And also, you know, he would be able to type. Um, yeah, no idea. It's definitely blocking us, though. Uh, Terran, my game is so lagged out. Uh, there's two wonders still up on my screen. Oh. Okay, well, you guys are correct, so he's just lagging. That's unfortunate for him, poor guy. Uh, our military is what? 120? So this is still going like an absolute champion. Let's make sure all of our traders are on that trade route and uh, are going up here. Okay. So let's get our rams in. Maybe just make rams then. Maybe just make rams if you're lagging. Yeah, so this pressure probably isn't very good, sadly. Um, we have woodworkers here. So much gold units. Yeah, I mean, green is a raid boss, of course. I was fighting green all game. <laughs> He's very rich, but hopefully soon we'll, uh, I too will be rich with this uh, this glorious trade. Let's get more of that. We got 49,000 food. We got our army moving through, and that is going to be... Man, Nanny's, Nanny's army is killing me. Okay, let's just get rid of the con. Maybe just send Rams Nanny. Because, yeah, they're, they're unfortunately killing a lot of our, of our stuff here. I don't want to, like, kill those, but we might need to. Yeah, well, let's uh, let's just start plowing through the base here. Um, and, come on. Come on! We gotta hope that Dox is getting close. Uh, might be better if you just leave the game. Uh, maybe... Red? Red, uh, maybe leave game if you are frozen because he's only helping the wonder player on accident his like army sitting right in the way all right so i could send some good quality units let's send some land snakes and some pan cannoneers and some knights and things like that and um yeah like we're getting killed by his armies so shit dude he's blocking me yeah he needs to just stop sending shit because it's making it worse uh, we got how long left? Seven minutes? Can we get a dock down here? Is it possible? We can get a dock. Maybe get some transport ships and like set up infrastructure on the other side. Oh my god, it's so troll, dude. It's so troll. Okay. Thank you. Dear god. So he was apparently just frozen and all of his armies were just like killing us. Which is pretty funny, but um, certainly not good. Alright, let's do that. Is old Wookiee still here? Orange and I are on. Okay. Um, is our route still going? It is. Oh, is it? Did it get deleted? No, it's still good. Uh, I clicked Sunder and, and it didn't go through. Yeah, it seemed to work out. All right. So let's move here. Do this. What is our military like? Yeah, it's on the way over. It's long supply lines. I don't have a lot. I mean, I could spend wood, but I need the rams. Um, let's get the rams coming here. Now we can start actually pushing into Blue's base here. On Wonder dying. Okay. Moving across. I can finally uh, get through now. Let's go down here and do a little scouting too. Enemy destroyed uh, his landmark and down. Okay, he's dead. So the plot thickens. Well, that's for sure. We don't need this dock anymore. Hey, a little bit of gold. Look at that. Wow. We have some gold in the fourth quarter of the game. And um, now it's Wookiee. Dox and myself. We we have the unholy trifecta. Um, I could try and establish some trade mid. I'm very happy with my trade as it is, though, and I don't think Wookiee's noticed. 
190 mil pop, yeah. That's that's no joke. Wood is really, really uh, running out here. Let's go grab that. This is becoming a very, very scrappy game. Oh, you guys talking about casters? Um, yeah, Drongo's a great caster. He's awesome. He, I, I, he does, like, traditional competitive 1v1s, kind of like what I do for Total War. Um, yeah, really solid. He seems like a nice guy, too. Um, never chatted with him. All right, so let's get that. We got 14 on food. It's something. Um, yeah, at this point, I don't know how we approach this. Are we being shot by something? I could try and form a 2v1 alliance. We're going to go south and explore the old Mongolian base. Um, obviously, Wookie can establish trade down here with the uh, landmark there. Uh, all right, so moving there. And now the Order of the Dragon is coming for blood. All right, so maybe we just move in here now, like with our army that we have. All right, so we're going to do that, and um, you guys can spam some rams too, although, nope, that's not going to happen. So we're going to move in this way. Uh, let's... Let's take down a uh, gold overlord, Wookie. Yeah, we got this going here. Maybe now we can do the uh, the politics. We'll see. So you guys get in here. We have a shitload of rams popping in. And we're gonna go ahead and just run about, um, do this. I couldn't be asked to do that. Okay. Is he get, he says F it. I don't know what Wookie's gonna do. He's got his Regnitz Cathedral here. And um, we have the we have the opportunity to split push for sure. Alright, so we see the villagers coming. Let's go ahead and jump on those bad boys. And it looks like he keeps coming, which we should be able to mitigate. We get in the front. We're doing good damage, actually. Like, surprisingly good. Um, all right. How many bills do we got here? Yeah, and the ram spam is, is coming from the backside. So let's get those dirty rams up in there. All right. So how are we looking here? Looking pretty good. Here comes his, his Duhast army. His army is just jacked. Absolutely jacked. And hopefully the split pushing can do some work. He just lost a lot of bills. So I suspect his eco isn't great. All right, outstanding. Let's keep grinding here. Um, these bills are getting cannon towered, which sucks. Is there any wood around that I can grab? Oh, sorry if I'm giving you guys the spins here. Um, there's some in the base. All right, so we're getting onto this. Uh, let's go ahead and just knock down these walls. We need to find some wood. Um, otherwise, the push is going to be heavily stifled. I lost to a bug? Yeah, it sounds like, sounds like you might have. So we got some solid progress in there, boys. We're just sending supply lines from our base. Uh-huh. Let's do this right now, because why the hell not? So we have that opportunity. <laughs> My favorite is that haggardness that's going on on the side here. That's like, shit is so funny. Um, we need to get some bills over here ASAP and set up some religious buildings uh, to try and pop in and grab relics when they become available. Yeah, because there's a chance we can get some relics here. So let's get in there. Uh, we got a prelate nearby. We got the rams coming from the back. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just kidding. We're just friends. Yeah, I like to see it. Um, Japan obviously going to be able to do some nastiness here. Fighting them 1v1 is never a good prospect. Um, let's go down, and, and if there is a neutral market down there, we need to, we need to go wall that so nobody can get it. All right, so there's a relic in there. So let's get you up top. Have you guys do this, and um, you guys need to go here. Looks like orange is running through my base on accident, which is all good. The gilded hand cannons are gross. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're a good unit, that's for sure. Let's get that keep down. If I could afford the gilded hand cannons, but, um, you know, we got to start saving up. This is a weird game. It's been a weird one, but, you know, green's been a, a tyrant for a long time. It is a it is known Khaleesi. All right, so, yeah. He's not going to let that prelate get the goods, so we're going to run up in the walls. What is he even talking about? <laughs> oh, he saw the market! He noticed the market! Oh my god, that's so funny. Holy shit. Oh my god, he, he noticed that market. Holy shit, that's so funny, dude. 
Oh my god. I got a little I got a little out. Okay, he just hosts the market. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Okay, how long can the Order of the Dragon fight here, man? Um, let's get some hand cannoneers here and get you guys to make some more rams. I mean, that's it. Ah, uh, yes. My shit trade. It was good scraps. He has relics, I don't. Yeah, okay, so we found a neutral market, so we're gonna destroy the hell out of that. Okay. Unfortunately, that politics could come to work against me. I don't know. He's, uh... He's got that whole side, bro. We can't leave him. He will easy get cross-map. Alright, so I'm trying to do this. 18 economy, yeah. Yeah, you must have had a good bank. He's been lying most of the game. Um, 87, is there anything we can trade with up here? Um, okay, that's not going to happen. It's all good. Tithe Barns are giving us our 60 stones, so yeah, my traders aren't going to make it there. Um, where can I possibly trade with? I assumed I had no idea. I assumed everyone had an insane clothes off. Oh man, how can we how can we get these going? Um, you lied all game about your trade. Very evil. Okay, so we took that down, which is great. So there's not going to be any neutral trade in the bottom. Um, our traders are now AFK. And we got these guys. I mean, we can try and sneak down here. He's got a huge samurai army. And I'm just going to keep pushing, because why the hell not? Um, trade, like, there's nowhere to go. God, if there was a trade post here, dude, that would just be the, the best thing ever. All right. Um, no trade, no trade. Just nothing, man. It's just, it's just an apocalypse. All right. So we're moving back in. Our, our gold gravy train is gone. And uh, I'm going to keep going. We'll see if the Japanese want to. Okay, so we're going to go do some horseman raids around the back. While the main army just kind of fights here and gets wrecked. Okay. So it's obviously not going to go great, but let's get that keep. These horsemen are going to go raid the farms. And uh, we'll see what we can get going. Yeah, I mean, Wookie might just wander again, which would be really, really strong. For sure. Um, we got relics back here. Okay. So we're going to keep cruising. We take workers down. Yeah, just do a little bit of eco damage. And uh, the lawn, land snakes are there. I don't think there's much going on up here anymore. We could always sneak back there. Your gold armies would speak otherwise. First, my horse archer. Yes. A lot of politics this game, but it's all in good fun. Um, we take these guys down, see if there's anything in the north. I seriously doubt it. Uh, our traders are basically, basically useless at this point. We can make some of these, but man, the eco of all the players here sucks so bad. I don't think Japan is doing anything either, unfortunately. Um, market's in the corner. Why can I see these, by the way? Why am I able to see that? Is that because where the wonder was? I can see where that is. Look. Look at this. I can see where the, um... I can see where he's he's cackling here. That's weird. Okay, so I'm like the... Probably one of the few here who's... Who's not... Um... I can't get you if Japan doesn't help. So we will have a stalemate until wonder. Alright. So we're gonna see who can build a wonder here. Let's come around there. Uh, I need to find a way to get some money, dude. I don't want to start a war with Japan. They're right up on my border. We did get a relic from him, so I have two relics. We have a little bit. Um, I think I just gotta re-bolster my eco, to be fair. These guys, I mean, is that that's my market, right? Hmm. No, Landmark Sniping, he has like 500 keeps. It's not gonna happen. Okay, is there any trees around? Trees, trees for the tree god, trees for the tree throne. Um, teal is... Japan is there. Okay, I have some I have some schemes, actually. So maybe we can do something. It looks like Japan is leaving. Somebody is going to get a wonder. We don't know who. Let's get back on the farms here. 
and do this. We got you guys. Let's take you down. Yeah, we do have that neutral trade post right now. You guys are down here, which is great. So let's go into Blue's base and see if we can do a little something something back there, maybe. It's it's one of our only chances. Um, yeah, that neutral trade is going to be really good. All right, you guys get back on food. Let's go rebuild that food bank. Traders, um, they can just waddle in the middle and see what we can do. And we just gotta, we yeah, Wookie's probably trading somewhere. But you know, if 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 our my order buddy, we're my, him and I are of course great pals, despite you know the civil wars. I, that's probably historically accurate too, right? Order the HRE having civil wars and shit. Seems like it could be. Um, all right. Let's reseal that. Get you guys. 151 trade for the old Wookiee. Jesus. Yeah. Let's get him. And uh, have a shitty order fight at end. Yeah, I mean... Alright. Alright, going now. So we are gonna we're gonna go after Wookie. The Order of the Dragon. We've had tenuous friendships all throughout this game. You know, it's been it's been a weird a weird uh, relationship we've had. But it's uh, it's been something. So we're gonna we're gonna get Rams going, and we'll even get a couple bombards. Yeah, we just discovered his cross map trade. So. All right. Set up the wall there. That's gonna shut his trade down in the immediate future. And uh, let's get you to go here, here, and uh, here. All right. So the Ramsteins are coming for round two. Um, we have literally three lumber at, the at this point. God damn, let's get these farms fully equipped. I think, yeah, there's like straight up no lumber. There's some over here, but it's like heavily, heavily contested. All right. So we got bombards. I mean, I think I lose one v one to the other guy because he has more relics than me, which is unfortunate. Um, we got enough food. So can you guys go find any lumber? We see some trees up there, and do we have more trees in here? Um, berry bushes, trees, and trees. Okay. Same. I, I definitely don't have a chance against him after this, so I don't think it sucks. But we have to deal with the Wookiee. He's cross-map trading, and Japan is way stronger than both our civs. All right, so let's move, baby. Let's buy some wood. And um, I think this is a good enough spot. Let's just, like, move as far down. All right, so we're in the Wookiee's base. And, um, yeah, let's go here, here, and here. Cool. 137 military pop is pretty nuts. Holy shit, yeah, that's a good Japanese army. Very scary. Alright, let's get our horsemen right here and uh, down here and here. Try and do a little bit of harrying and raiding. Let's get the bombard cannon back. Get the rams moving in. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully the other order chat is actually attacking. <laughs> we certainly need it. Alright, so the eco's coming back. The traders are here. Um, here to here. All right. So can we get through this wall here? We need to do a little something here. All right. So how's the army looking? Oh, it's dead. <laughs> it's like, how's that army looking? Ah, it's all right. It's hanging in there. I have no wood, dude. I have no wood. Oh, this is so tough. Uh, there are some trees here. So let's buy this. Um, get that. And then we do this. Yeah, I need to like, I need the other HR, the other player to know that I am trying here. We got two bombard cannons, so let's keep going after him. And this builds a uh, ram, so we need to buy enough for a ram. Uh, I had over 350 cannon towers, so that's pretty insane. Damn. Oh, shit, wrong army, sorry. What was it elsewhere? Sorry. Uh, was elsewhere, sorry, yeah. I'm just doing a little raiding, poking on the other side. Um, we need wood eco, like hardcore. And the ram's gonna come through and knock this down here. You got these guys moving in. Let's keep, uh, keep pushing with the old bombardos. Alright, boys. 
And then once this wall is dealt with, we should have a little something something to work with. And yeah, I mean, dude, he's so, he's got like, he's trading cross map, I think. He must be having some insane trade somewhere. I don't know where, but there's definitely some nastiness going on. Okay, let's get you and you. The old Wookiee's in some danger. As much as I hate battling, uh, you know, my, my dog's namesake here. Okay, so our eco's coming back a little bit. Let's get the bombard cannons back. Um, yeah, so we retreat, pull back, and you guys can start trading there, which is going to be how much? What is it? Is it sealed there? Okay, hold on. Let's go see why. Okay, there must be a uh, something block blocking that there. Go, my gilded horses. All right, so we got some wood over here. Just desperation wood gathering. Um, where did we... I know there was like a big wood patch that there was. That one has a tower on it, so that's not going to happen. There is a decent amount of wood up there. Um, let's run back to the keeps here if we can. And Japan has overwhelmed me. No surprises. I have like no economy. Okay. Ooh, hello. Okay. That's something. Sweet Christmas. Uh, let's get you. Do that. Grab this. Dude, I, I, uh, I actually shit. He's in my base now. I hope you're <laughs> I hope you're attacking. Because I, I don't know if I can stop this shit. Alright. So we got you guys. Um, that will be going down in a moment. Working on him. Uh, Alright. I will try and survive. He doesn't have any Ozutsu here. So maybe we actually can. Alright. So let's fight and fight. And fight. And fight. Alright. So maybe, maybe we just hold here. Someone killed my bills. Yeah, well, you know. The grievances, if we can go back long enough, everyone's going to have grievances, right? Is he going landmark sniping? Really? Okay, looks like he just lost his whole army in my base. Most of it, at least. All right, let's do that. And we get you. This goes here and here. Traders can keep creeping. And um, let's build this, like, right there. A little bit further back, maybe? All right, can we do it here? That seems like a kind of a sneaky spot. It's, like, it's not somewhere that would be, like, looked at super closely. All right, so let's get some gilded chads, some archers. You guys attack, um, and maybe we can fend off the dread samurai. Maybe. Is this like a dead end or some shit? Okay, is there like a wall here? Is it a tree line? Okay, there we go. Okay. So that explains that. Um, and you guys can go ahead and build a TC down here, so we can do some goodies. It seems as if we might be able to hold off the samurai. They are butchering a lot of my villagers here, but I think they will uh, they will go down in the end. I'm trying to use the steel chair. This has been a weird game, dude. It's been a very, very weird game. We're just looking for whatever scraps of trash we can find. I am the trash man here, uh, here, and here. Okay. He's still in mine. Okay. So you old rams have done it. So now maybe we can actually get there. Let's go see. Okay, so now we have the route that we're looking for. So let's do this. And uh, you guys can trade back here. And we can set up some of that. Okay, so that kind of is like a potential catalyst for something. Um, I don't think there's any more here. So let's delete these and free up supply up north. Okay. Uh, just got him out of mine. All right. So that was a scary little split push for sure. Um, we need to get some wood here. Okay, so let's get Vils producing there to augment our wood economy. You guys go here. Let's get this. On my way back down. Okay, that looks good. I mean, that's what, 88? I think that's pretty respectable. That's pretty respectable. Yes. Yes. Good, Anakin. Good. Yeah, we got some beefy dudes for sure. Villagers are going to just sprint down there and hopefully not get noticed. They probably will, though. Maybe maybe they will. Maybe they won't. I don't know. And uh, we still have this guy up here. Let's just work on these trees. And, uh, yeah, we're saving up. Sell a little bit. Take down that bannerman. Aha! We have done damage. Okay, let's make some men-at-arms. Let's make some, some tanky boys. Uh, we will, will get him eventually. Sorry, my keyboard's broken, so that's why when I type it looks like just broken English here. 
Alright. We will get him eventually, that's right. That's the plan. Attrition. It's war of attrition here. Alright, so yeah, that... Holy shit, god damn. Wookie's just a, a raid boss here, dude. Look at this, man. Okay, Tithe Barns are kicking in. Looks like he's coming to beat me up here. I probably should get some Gilded Land Snakes if I can. Horseman's Fam is good. Um, and we need to get the farms fully back online. Alright, looking good. Oh no, I'm very, very happy where I'm trading right now. I'm very, very happy with it. Yeah. We have a we have a solid route. Until it's, you know, not solid. I think we're fine. And yeah, that's gonna that's gonna help us too. Getting all those villagers down there. For the old wood. Let's get this keep or this uh, town center. Just try and wear down the TCs. We only have 2,000 HP, right? So the next game is going to be a casted game, by the way. Uh, in case you hadn't guessed. Okay, looking good. Let's get some houses. Get the villagers to go. Uh, get some horsemen to go raid the villagers. Yes, yeah, good. Good, my minions. Maybe we can supply block him so he can't make more. Yeah, we force those guys back. Let's run over here. Um, that's good. We got that going in full effect now. Uh, no more info. You're dead at the moment. <laughs> we don't want him to like spoil it. You know, we gotta we gotta keep it keep it fair. Giving it giving advice from beyond the grave is it can be funny, but you know I think in this situation we need to we need to tread lightly. All right, so we're getting the houses. And let's do this. Let's go see if he's defending these artillery pieces. He might not be. And the gilded chads need to pull back. Okay, we get a spring all, which is great. Uh, Alright. Cool. So, yeah. We're getting a little something something now, baby. Okay, so let's have you guys go chase that villager down. You gotta hope the Wookiee doesn't, like, call out my bottom shenanigans. He might try and wall this right here. Yeah, he's gonna try and wall it. Yes. Um, alright, where is he going with that villager? Uh, losing army after army is what I'm doing. Losing my armies, mostly. But yeah, the land snakes seem to be really good against the samurai. They seem to trade very well. Where the hell did he go? He's so sneaky. Okay. Where the hell did that villager go? Is it up here somewhere? Maybe. I don't know. We're still pushing. He's focused on defending. To no, so no one's surprise. Um, I don't know where that... Did we prison shank that villager or did it get away? I'm not sure. It, it's, it's a neutral market, so let's set up a couple towers just to be safe here. And uh, whatever, just get him very much. Alright, let's get back in. Could do some rams. Our gold per minute is respectable. God damn, dude. Do you see that siege ball? Jesus. I need to get like spring alds and stuff. Because it's like, it's insane. Uh, maybe some culves too. To try and get like a 200 200 sack army. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, there's a gold node down here. Yep, we're gonna grab it. I can assure you. These bills can go here, and we can go get that and uh, cackle like the heathen kings of old. That's Green's outpost. Okay. Currently, we're at 147 economy. So just kind of progressively working on it. Um, yeah, we got towers coming up. Why are there all these sheep here? Did he have a villain nearby? Okay, let's just get that upgrade. Trying to fight away from the siege death balls. Okay, let's get our land snakes and uh, some of you guys. And in the meantime, I think we're chilling. Um, we need to do this also to make sure nothing funny happens there. These siege death balls are very frightening. Yeah, he's got he's got springs too. I'm gonna build some culves and see if I can actually make some ground here in a second. Um, we can delete some food eco, I think. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, yeah, we're just like a little bit hard in the paint on that, so let's delete that. Try and uh, try and balance out our military a little bit. Some spears and some archers. It's Colvin time. It is, and this is what eight thousand gold. Holy shit, that's so nice. Um, nobody's buying stone, obviously, because that's just that's just that's just not a thing. 
Um, all right, and we got the markets here. We don't really need these anymore. I'm gonna delete them to make room for other things. And culves should be on their way. God damn, dude. Look at the siege ball of doom. All right, let's do a little horseman raiding while we wait for the good stuff to get here. Um, all right, so we've walled that. Let's go ahead and do lumberjacking. Gold is going. It's flowing like the salmon of Capistrano. Got a couple loose samurai we can maybe farm. Nope, nope, not with the death ball. All right, let's uh, let's work on this keep here. It's actually, a, we can maybe just burn that down. Yeah, it's it's pretty low, so the rocket just one-shots the horseman, though. It's insane. All right, we lit it on fire, which is good, so it's going to take some free damage now. Are those... Uh, okay, we didn't have the supply for a lot of the stuff we wanted. So let's cancel all these. Um, huh? Cancel these and these, and just get the cauldrons out when these horsemen start to fall. So trying to raid. Let's work on the TCs on the side. I'll slowly just get rid of uh, his ability to rebuild and stuff. All right, so let's move in, go loose formation, see if we can get anything done there. Um, and then we need to get you. How are we looking there? I wonder if the order is still attacking. They might not be, actually. I wouldn't be surprised if he just stopped. Okay, let's do that. Outstanding, that's perfect. So we got some villager damage. Maybe that'll slow Zico down, but I suspect he's got a colossal bank and it just doesn't matter. Uh-huh. Spears. For the spear gods, spears for the spear throne. All right, so we need to optimize this because currently it's a little bit potato. I wonder if Green's still attacking. He is. Okay, culverins are coming in, so he definitely is. Dude, this army's just so jacked, so jacked, dude. Holy shit. Okay, let's get this culvin position. Run you guys back. He's like 200. Oh, we're just gonna lose this right now. That sucks. Yeah, let's get these guys, see if we can save that. If we can save the cold, that's gonna be nice, but he is just so beast mode. Uh, yeah. I don't want to spend my gold. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... He's not like, doesn't have a wonder, so it's not like we're in a huge urgent rush to beat him. But maybe green is gonna be attacking the other side while this, this overextension happens. Alright, so, yeah. You going. Let's optimize that. Get the camp going. Set this up. Right, maybe he's coming for me. Uh, he's at my base. Base. So this is where he maybe blunders and we can get a little little work done here. Pushing into my base is uh, definitely a, a bold strategy. He tried it before. He does have the Ozutsu of Doom, but I do have emergency repairs, which should be buy me a little bit of time. Is he going to go for the keep? He hasn't started yet. Um, and the keep is doing good damage. It has a cannon placement also. It looks like he's Ozutsuing some siege workshops instead. Uh, let's get some land snakes and some hand cannoneers just so we don't die. And um, yeah, we need to just keep this this grind going. Green might be able to make progress. Like we're gonna wipe a lot of his forces here, I think. Okay, and let's get you guys and you guys and come around the side and start sniping all these. There we go. All right, cool, cool. We got a culverin now too. Oh man, yeah, he he might have just blundered the game for himself there. Although he's kind of in a doom situation, right? It's like if he um if he if he like he can't really the only way he could win is if he had some win con like a wonder or something which is tough but he just lost a lot of that his army yeah all right so we need to get a lot of wood so how are we looking on the wood department tell me i'm fully upgraded by the way i'm wood okay jeez i was about to say that would be really bronze odia if i wasn't um our military is okay everything looks good there green probably has the ability to slap down a wonder after this I would suspect. Um, let's delete that. That's obviously where it would go if we were to do that. Yeah, we're really low on food right now, so we need to get that. Let's go um, trade our army in and try and get a little bit of food eco going because, yeah, we are in the pits. We've been spending so much on food. Yeah, I'm hurting on it. Well, Order of the Dragon usually hurts on food because your units are really food intensive, so um, let's get into the fields here and see what we can do. Sadly, we just have these haggard... Um, Haggard torches, but it'll it'll have to do, pig. It'll have to do. All right, so we're moving in, getting a little bit of uh, damage in there. Let's cancel all these guys. Look at that! I just canceled like a big production, and suddenly I'm like, you know, holy shit! How did he rebuild his army so quickly? All right, Culbrin, kill that Revolkman. Yeah, one more shot should uh, finish the beast off. If we can get the Revolkman or the Mangonel here, it's it's a win. Yeah, it looks like we got it. Cool. 
All right, so those guys polished off all the gold. Um, we have a, de a wild deer camp here we could grab. Um, let's just grab lumber, I guess. Since we, although we could delete some of these guys and then transition them into uh, eco up north on our farms. All right, so yes, go my minions, go feast. So now is the time where I think we can just spam out some rams since we have such good wood economy. Look at these, order of the chat archers. Who's trading in the west corner market? Yeah, Dox is trading too, I guarantee it. Like, he's he's a good player, clearly, so he's going to take advantage of, uh, of any opportunities. Let's get some floppy hats and some spears and some horsemen and some archers. Need to also get some archer ranges rebuilt. So let's do that and uh, go from there. All right. So this opportunity, let's see. Let's come down here and um, do this. How many sacred sites are there on this map? Looks like three. Okay. We have decent stone. I mean, we have three relics. We've, we're able to get three, which is really nice. I don't want to take that because it's going to be a little bit obvious. But we need to entrench it a little bit, at least. Um, all right. Let's see here. Probably going to be a wonder race as soon as Wookiee dies. Although he's definitely got me dead to rights on that because my food eco isn't that great. I mean, it's 1,700 a minute, but... All right, let's cancel all that. And um, we have 11,000 gold now, so we are pretty adequate on gold. Is anybody buying stone? Let's see. No, nobody's buying stone, so maybe maybe he won't be wonder racing. Uh, and we do have a stone outcropping here. Yes, we do. All right, little, 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 little gift in the fourth quarter. Looks like Nanny didn't raid, uh, raid it too much down here. Let's get on these bills. Nice, and then we can get the springs and the springs. Take out the anti-artillery to allow our other HRE buddy to do some good work. And let's get that as well. All right, so let's get the house. We took down several important artillery pieces. Let's go get the revolquin. And uh, now we come down here and creep all this. Holy shit, how is Wookie so rich? He's still, after all this, he's just like a, a raid boss, a financial raid boss. Yeah, well, that's going, and um, he's building all that up. All right, so let's add those to the control groups. This might have the makings of one of the longer FFAs we've had, right? Jesus, dude, his army is, is a, just absolutely beastly. All right, let's make some of these and some of these. We can spend a little bit of gold here. You know, just try our thing. Slow progress. Yeah, very slow progress. All right, so these towers are coming up. Let's do that. I know. He had a bank. Yeah, Wookie's not even trying to politic. He's just like, he's just like hyper-focused. What a beast. Um, let's actually delete. Mm, we can keep those there. Those could be useful later. I don't, I don't know if he's like trading somewhere else or something, maybe. I don't know. I hate having this low, like, food. Um, but now we have 50 back on food, so maybe we get there. Three hours and seven minutes is the record. My hands are starting to hurt in this one. I'm like, I'm feeling it. Oh, let me do some old man stretches real quick. Oh, those traps are just burning. Oh, yeah, damn. Is this gonna be like a single FFA stream? <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, we can, we can do a casted one. Casted ones are pretty, uh, pretty low key. All right, let's just kill infrastructure. You know, like maybe he's not gonna be able to replenish all this. So we just get in and take that down. Yeah, maybe then he can't rebuild, right? So. I'm going to just focus on buildings and all that, and maybe we'll make some progress. Okay. Yes, please. And, uh-huh. All right, so the grind is going. Looking good. Looking good. We're getting there, boys. We're getting there. You up. And um, as far as this goes, we can go ahead and make some stables down here. So we can like defend that sacred side if need be against like a small force. I'm just trying to kill infrastructure. Let's get the houses. This is his Shogunate castle. Let's keep poking it. Oh my god, are you seeing this? Look at this! Holy shit! That's so cool! Oh my god! <laughs> Love that Wookie. That's pretty epic, for sure. Um, we can throw in some trebs. 
Okay, Sacred Sight is being uh, owned by the Wookiee. Looks good. We can also build this religious building here to grab that when the time comes. Dude, this is just straight raid boss mode. He is he is he is just an evil tyrant. Okay, and then let's get that. He says, "Come on, lads, let's go like get the re the back of the base. That's where his Yodishiru are, probably." Um, all right, so let's build you, and then you guys can do this. Yeah, we should. I should have shut this shit down a long time ago. That wall bonus, I know. What a Chad gamer he really is. Look, he's always a Chad in all our games. I believe he's pretty well ranked in 1v1 too. I think he's like diamond or platinum or something. So, yeah, very, very respectable foe. Um, that looks like it's been destroyed. He might have re-repaired that. Slowly losing his gold income. And where are these idle bills? Okay, so our food income is coming back. You guys have done this. Um, let's just, do we want to just clear those berry bushes out in the meantime and just keep those bills back there? Might not be a bad idea. Is this rebuilt? Looks still destroyed to me. Let's get this and uh, destroy the market. Clearing infra and back. And now we have the um, we have the trebuchets of doom, right? We wanna we wanna wait to show those, probably. All right, so let's get you guys here. Yeah, it's still destroyed. So let's get that keep down. Um, we're getting a good bank now. All right. You never underestimate a Wookiee, you know. Yeah, they're a We're working on the landmarks, that's right. So where are you idle workers at? All right, let's get you guys back on wood. Looking solid. And the old Wookiee is, uh, you know, he's in a little danger here. He's in a little bit of danger. All right, so we probably need to pull you guys. Get ready with a little bit of this. Um, all right, so let's delete these. Working on the landmarks, that's one, and then the TC is going to be the other one that's still around, so we need to just nuke that here and uh, go from there. All right, so how's this looking down here? It looks pretty good. We're working on it. We're, we've got the rams in, and we also have the trebs on the TC. All right, boys. Well, this is, uh, this is what's going down. That's how it's going to be. We got the trebs on it. And uh, we got 64 workers here. We're gathering a lot of resources. Um, holy, oh, holy shit. Holy shit. I did not notice that. Okay, wow. Um, all right. So let's get you and come over here. I wish I had seen that earlier. That would have been a lot more dough for us. Okay, he's got a spring all there and I have like nothing to stop it. We should probably probably pull these back and, and try for it. That hand cannoneer thing is just absolutely hilarious. So they're torching that down, and we're going to get another one of these over here. All right. And let's do this. So we've made home in the ruined empire. Uh-huh. We make a couple more trebs, and then we pop, lock, and drop it. That's what we do. And we get some more bills here. Let's go, like, scout and see what it looks like. So, yeah, he's trying to rebuild siege workshops. Okay. So those guys are blasting. Let's get you guys back on the TC. What's he saying? He says, hey, what? He says, hey, Turin. I don't know what he's going to say. What's up? You think Green has cross map? Maybe. The, you know, the, the funny thing is, so do I, though. So it's kind of like, you know, I'm also going to get these relics. So let's get you to drop that here. And we got the spring alds going. Um, it's sitting under there, so we need to we need to watch it. And you get this and then take it over here. And then we're now sitting on a fair amount of relics here. Okay, so we need to do this. Put you in six. All right. Sweet. So we got the double relics there. Um, you guys on the south, we need you to keep gathering wood. Unfortunately, like, yeah, we're idling a lot of bills right now, which normally would be gathering a shit ton of food for us, but I need to be ready to strike at any point. 
Belagerung traf in Reiterei. Okay, let's get you guys up. Die Rösser zerreiter, wir reiten ab. The, old, the Wookiee has been a real Chad this game. He really has. Okay, working on it. Hitting the old base here. He's hanging in like an absolute champion, man. What is our eco right now? 162? Holy shit. That's pretty serious. That's pretty serious. These guys are just scurrying away. Working on the Shogunate castle. Uh, the Shogun, yeah, it's, it's getting repaired though. He's got repairs on it. Could delete these workers, although having a little food income is certainly better than none. Alright, um, middle is still happening. Yeah, he's he's going for it again. I'm trebbing it from my side. Alright, so it's getting trebbed pretty good. Wookie's gonna 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 try. He's ramming, it looks like. Yeah, we got the horseman at the ready. That's probably his last landmark. We're gonna have to see. Yeah. Let's just like keep him honest here. Yeah, we can we can do that dance all day. Alright. How's it gonna be? How's this looking? Um you shoot him with the horseman, that's fine. He's got the revolve pin, which is gonna give us the dirty. <laughs> Lured a poor horse. That horseman had. He was a little too excitable. He was just like, you know. Is this going to be the end of the Wookiee? Maybe. It could be. Let's take down the Revolpin. Oh my god, it's so close to dying. Let's get that and then get this one too. So he still has the Korra storehouse. He might have repaired one of the ones in the back. Korra still there? Yeah, because we need to see what landmark it is. I don't think he repaired this one. Um, let's run that way. Okay. So you guys move here. Is there any food around? There is. So let's just go grab it. Okay. We're just going to wait. And uh, any second now. Any second. Should be all right. Waiting on the old Kura storehouse to go down. He's gone. Wookie is still in the game. He's still in the game. All right. It would not appear so. He's still got a landmark somewhere. Where the hell is his last landmark? Where's the last one? One, two, three, and four, right? Oh, that was a wonder. Oh, shit. Okay. Interesting. Uh, TF is last. TF last? Where is the last one? Shit, I thought that was the last one. Alright then. It's a little bit a little bit scary. I don't know where the last landmark actually is. Um, so we got Kura, Shogunate Castle. Um, maybe it's down here somewhere? I think it's south. Yeah, I think it's south. Let's grab a couple of you guys and get back on the farms for now. Yeah, let's just try and run past him here. See where it is, at least. Yes, I think it's back here. Yep, found it. Alright, so let's do this. It's south uh, of TC. Yeah, alright. So let's get you guys back. Get some troopers here. He's got his dreaded hand cannon near Legion. Okay, looking fine. Um, you guys are just at the ready. But the hand cannoneers are chasing. Oh, I'm too weak. I can't get away. Do we have all three in here now, by the way? Uh, we do not have all three. Okay. And you guys come hang out by this for when the time comes. We will strike. Alright, you guys go back up there. We need a little bit of food. Uh, if Green wanders, he still has to deal with both of us, right? Like, that's the that's the problem. I don't want to wonder, even consider wondering while Wookiee's alive, because he's going to be able to disband Ozutsu and Tanegashima gunsmith stuff, right? So, um, I don't want any of that. Okay. Okay. So, let's move down here. Attack. Ooh, he's got a lot of hand cannon here. So shit, yeah. We need to, we need to do this. We might actually might be able, be able to even reach from here. You heading south? Hopefully, hopefully he is heading south. I don't know if he is. Um, let's make some more traps. And you guys can go ahead and jump on the other tree line here. We should have like enough trees. 
for the effort. Food is really the big deciding factor. Uh, making trebs. Pushing. I don't know if Docs is also. Who knows? Yeah, I think that's enough for now. Alright. Okay, keep a couple of you guys here. Being extra cautious. Food is really the uh, important thing here for us. We have a pond, but no water. I think I might be able to reach it from here. Oh, he destroyed that wall, shit. So he's gonna he's gonna get us here. We'll take our uh, our horseman, maybe maybe stop him. All right. So I think oh they got in the wall, shit. Little goblins, dude. Um, is Green attacking? I think he is. His Wookie Wookie's still got you know a bit. He's got his hand cannoneer army and whatnot. He's entrenching it pretty hard. I mean, what does this army look like, really? Hand cannoneers? Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> is Green attacking or is Green pulling back? I'm trying to trying to push here a little, but not going super hard on it. Okay, he is good. So Green is still is still on his way. All right, let's move back down down here. Uh, you guys have gotten the food there. Is there another deer camp here? There is. Let's just let's just go gather some deer meat at the uh, two hour and forty eight minute mark or whatever it is. Yeah. So I don't feel like dealing with the um, with the Ozutsu, right? So that's one of the reasons why we're um, let's free up some supply, get some military here. Green is coming down like a wrecking ball. Yeah, Dox is probably trading mid. He's so he's probably trading like here to here, which is probably not as good as my trade, but it's probably in the ballpark. I mean, I have thirty-five thousand gold right now, so I think we're we're pretty good. We're trapping the walls, slowly knocking them down. Got a couple more horsemen, but sadly, horses they cannot scale walls. Um, yeah, we we can't climb those walls. All right, so let's get back. Let's go just ride by, see what this looks like. Oh shit. Yeah, these villagers not having a good time. Okay, let's make some more bills here. He's got revol dude. This this is such an obnoxious defense. <laughs> it's so troll. All right, let's get some mangoes. We got the trebs though. The trebs can just keep knocking down walls, I guess, to keep these guys from doing it. We're not in like a rush or anything, you know. It's uh, we're not in a big rush. It's it's. I just got to be quick on the draw when the time comes, basically. You see that corner? Okay, back you go. Okay, so Trebs. Slowly moving out. Yeah, he's back on the walls here. Need to get some, like, missile units to do that. Um, do I want to delete the wood eco down here? I feel like I should stockpile as much as I can, because it could, it could come into play. It really could. Um, I could also switch them on to food eco to set up some farms. That would probably be a better idea. All right, so. Okay, looking good. And one, one, and one. So let's switch you guys. Do this. Yeah, nobody wants to deal with the dreaded Japanese uh, Ozutsu sieging their bases and stuff. It's only a matter of time, though. It's only a matter of time before we get them down. Sounds like he's under some heavy siege there, so let's pull these guys in and all of you. Let's move across. Okay, they're they're running back. So let's knock this gatehouse down. That's gonna that's gonna keep him from scurrying here. We're getting the record. We might get the record today. We very well could. Alright, so we can switch you guys into food eco on the south. I think it's gonna be a better way to do it. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so they can't troll too hard anymore. I think the archers can poke them, but the wall advantage is going to be a little bit strong. Um, you guys, let's have you just do some farms. Farms to the farm gods. Farms to the farm throne. Trebuchets are getting there. Let's cut him off. He's got those damn Rebalquins, though. We need to make sure he can't get back on these walls. Alright. So, almost there with the Trebs. They're going to be able to definitely do some work. We're going to attack ground there. And how many bills do we have sitting around here? There's a couple more. Okay, so 71 villagers is, is pretty serious, right? 
That's a pretty good amount of villagers, I would say. Okay. Bombarding also. Yeah, the wall the wall's defenses are pretty good. God, that landmark is so busted, the Tanagashima gunsmith. It's so freaking powerful. Alright, we don't need any more bills, that's for sure. It's getting hit, it's on fire now, so maybe maybe we can get it. He was able to reach us, actually. Come on, fire one more shot. Nope, nope, bad, bad trebuchet. He's repairing it! He's repairing the hell out of that. All right, man, we, this is so close. This is so close. This little secret agent operation down here has been very good. It's been very good to us. Um, eventually, we'll delete all the traders, right, when we go for our last stand. But we, we now have, like, decent food on the bottom while these guys sit. And food is was our limiting factor, right? So, yeah, that's going to be better. It's so close. So close. Yeah, I mean, destroying... A green green has already plowed his entire base. There's nothing here. Green has killed all this. Um, Trebs are on the way. Yeah, we got another one there. We got 71, which is a lot. Um, green is trading for 43, so he's probably not as rich as we are. Um, is, he buying, is anybody buying stone? Let's see. Uh, yeah, someone's buying stone. I'm just going to buy it to make it more expensive. Okay. Let's creep down here. See how it's looking. Is he still on the walls cackling at me? Probably. Or he's busy elsewhere. Yep, he's got his, his Doom Legion. Okay. Let's uh, Wonder Race it. Let's see how this goes. Alright, so Dox is building a Wonder. I'm going to build a Wonder too. I have a lot of bills there, but the Wonder Race is on. Where is his bit being built? Who gets it? He has 44. I should have more, right? I should have more. Yeah, he looks a little ahead of me, though. Shit. I don't know who gets that. Yeah, it looks like he gets it. Okay. Oh, man. I thought we would get him with the 71. We were so close. All right. So now we got to turn on Docs. Well, Wookie, um, you know, there was once an alliance between men and elves. And uh, I come to honor that alliance. Yes, of course. All right. So let's move across. We got Rams here. Let's start making those. He's been trading for a while. Dude, I thought I would get it for sure with 71. Because I only saw he had 44, but I guess he had uh, close enough. So Wookie's still alive. So on that note, you know, that's good. But our chances of getting this wonder are fairly slim. Um, let's start developing some tactics, right? So we need to come up here. He's got it right in the center. Doesn't look like it's walled. So let's get you guys and you guys come across. I'm just going to leave my wonder up. Yeah, I probably should have wondered earlier. I was being very conservative, though. You know, very conservative. I, I'm I'm very cautious with wonders, which is sometimes my downfall. But we got the relics. We got the good trade. But, like, Wookiee's really close to me, and he would have had a good army pushing, whereas he's further away, so it's a little bit safer for him, I feel. Yeah. So we got rams coming out. Let's get all these rams going. Do this. Um, we need to delete some eco, so we probably delete all the traders at this point. Yeah, that's going to be the play. That'll free up quite a bit of supply. The rams are poking. We got them, we got them ramming. Um, does the haggard Wookiee rise is the question. The haggard Wookiee rise. Yes, I did blunder, but it's okay. We'll, uh, we'll learn. All right. So, oh, these guys are stuck in the walls there. Jesus. Okay. So let's do this. And um, we can do that. All right, a little bit of that. And we can set up some of this. So I have enough money to make, like, good quality, like, units now, so I'm not going to be such a potato. Um, that's for damn sure. Yeah, all these guys are moving across. Um, his wonder's over there. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. All right, so we got you being set up. Little rams are doing their things now. Let's get some horsemen coming out in droves. Uh, we get you guys and you guys, and um, yeah, I think this is it. This is gonna be, this is gonna be um, for all the marbles. So the sacred sites aren't on the table at all. I didn't know if he would have the stone to wonder, but I guess he, I guess he had a lot of relics, so I should have, should have been aware of that. Right. Land snakes, um, you guys are doing it. Yeah, we got all this coming, looking great. And uh, let's get you and you. All right, looking good. We got Ram still moving through. Good rams. 
Very good Rams. All right. So all this is going. Let's pump you guys out. Start traveling through the walls here. And yeah, we have our point with which to attack. We got 15 minutes and we're kind of close to it. I suspect he's got it walled. I mean, he must, right? He must have this walled. I would be so shocked if he didn't. That would be so weird. All right, seven. Here, here, and uh, here. Okay, cool. Let's get through them walls. Taking a long time. Did I ever, I didn't, I never got the trap upgrade. Should get that. Might have actually led to some of those earlier. We'll see what Wookiee can do. I mean, Wookiee might actually be able to contribute a little bit, which is pretty funny, all things considered. All right, so let's get in. Let's see how direct we can ride to that. Like, if we could just get to that, it's going to be pretty nutty. All right, so 20 of you guys, let's pull in and set up a keep here. Um, we got the horsemen. We're just going to do a ride by and, uh, and then start gathering a big legion here. We're going to need uh, some stables also. So let's do stables. Okay. We see his trade, so let's go cut off the trade a little bit. And we can actually ride straight to the wonder. Not that we're going to be able to kill it or anything, but it's um, it's pretty wild. Yeah, it's pretty wild here. Okay. Unfortunately, he did have his bombards at the ready, so we are going to lose that. Um, 16 bills. We want to build the keep here? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, we're getting a lot of trade damage. That's good. So, not that it will do too much for us here at this point, but... Uh, horseman, yes. Get some gilded knight chads. We're gonna actually make like a good army now because we have trade, right? So it's just uh, food's gonna be our big inhibiting factor. Yeah. All right. So you guys are good. Let's get on the wood here. How's our army looking? It's moving. It's moving along. Trebs shouldn't be too much of an issue to remake. So the gilded chads are moving forward. Um, hand cannoneers for the hand cannoneer god. Uh, we can repair this. Let's get our bombard cannons to try and knock down his if we can. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. All right, cool. So we're making momentum. We did get a lot of trade. Dude, what if the Wookiee just comes through with the steel chair in the fourth quarter? Wouldn't that be funny? Holy shit, that would be great. All right, so a couple of these guys. Let's go dive, dive, and dive. And uh, yeah, we can just make a lot of trebs. I'm just try and slowly push through and bombards and you know all the good, all the good stuff here. All right, so those are gonna die. Those are gonna die probably. Um, we are supply capped at the moment come in and uh, you guys can go ahead and build another keep here if we can get those we'll see so we need to dive this artillery blob yeah if we can one down two down and we got a keep coming up which is probably foolish honestly considering all his bombards that he has and stuff although those are culves yeah we can actually just use these villagers to dive here ironically it's gonna be their best use all right let's go gilded knights gilded horsemen food is so sparse so sparse at this point. Um, we did manage to get that sacred. Let's even get this one. Yeah, I don't know if it'll matter at any point, but yeah. we are getting in, and we have plenty of rams to spam. We got 72 on food, which is pretty serious. Um, that is a shitload of culverins. Holy shit. That is a lot. I'm probably going to have to come up with some creative strategies. Yeah, I don't think, like, head-on attacks are going to work super well. Um, yeah, if Wookiee asked me to, I would delete my wonder. He hasn't asked me yet. But I would. I would actually delete it if you asked me. The Ozutsu might come. Um, Wookie might backdoor it. I'm not sure. Maybe he's just going to bank on it? Uh, maybe Wookie will make some demands at some point. I don't know. We do have 18,000 gold, man. It's 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 going okay. Um, bills. We can send some bills over to help out too. We are beating the armies. And the trebuchets are doing some serious, seriously solid work. All right, so let's get in here, take you guys, go dive these, and you guys get those bills. All right, so Trebs, let's get on the next keep here. This one does have a relic in it, so it's going to be a little bit harder to crack. But um, it seems like we're getting good momentum. His army's very indexed into cauldrons, which are a good unit. But um, we did manage to get all sacreds, which is cute, but it's not going to do a whole lot for us. Okay, let's get the rams moving in. That's going to be another keep dying in a second. We just got to make sure we don't lose Trebs to just stupid shit. Um, yeah, so the, the, the culves are moving back. Um, are they going to start going after the trebuchets? Probably. So we need to retreat them a little bit. Get you guys to come party. And let's go get these. And what kind of units do we have around here? We have a couple of these guys. All right. Let's get the trebs back on the keep. Nice emergency repairs. Very, very good. Very strong. Uh, how long do we have? Seven minutes? Probably not going to get it. Probably not. Yeah. It's going to be tight, but I, I don't think so. Based on how this is going. 
Yeah, he is losing a lot of his expensive arty though, and I have a shit ton of gold. Like, I can just make... I should just be making only good units, right? Like, nothing bad. He's got a lot of gold too, though. That's what's really impressive. Alright, so do we have the bills coming over to help? We do. So I'll leave it surely. Units are fighting well. Let's make sure you guys are shooting the appropriate targets. Okay, Culps are trying to creep around. How much gold per minute? Do we have 4,500? Wow, it's crazy that we can go through that much, right? Oh, I need to get that keep down, man. If that keep stays up, it's just like this whole... He's just going to repair it. The Wonder's not even in like a really defensible spot. It's just like right in the main base. If only, if only we had one more player. If only. Wow, this might be a record. We might be in the record longest FFA here. All right, so it's Blast. Keep spending that food. Um, traders are still going strong. Rams are poking on the sides. Um, yeah, so we keep dacking here. But he's making what? Spears? It's really hard to outmuscle him when he's got his home field advantage. Really, really difficult. Um, maybe we got to start going into culves of our own, but wood is just such a limiting factor. All right, so you guys charge in. Let's run away with these trebs. Maybe they can flee. I don't think so. Um, we got a couple of bills nearby. Let's make a couple uh, more archer rangers here. All right. Yeah, like, I don't know. He's got such a good critical mass of culves. It's hard. It's hard to get an artillery, like, any counter artillery up. We got seven minutes left. We're charging into the, the firing lines here, which isn't great. I mean, he's losing traders, but if anything, that might actually just help him. Okay, what are the bills doing here? We got six. He doesn't have any, like, bombards. So maybe we can make, um... Yeah, wood is so, so sparse, too. It's so sparse. Um, we need you guys to, yeah, stay on your food. I don't know why they idled there. That was really weird. Okay, I think we're, I think we're done for unless Wookie is, like... Doing something. I mean, he did, does have Ozutsu and other units. We got a couple of calls of our own coming now. So let's see if we can head these guys off. Let's do a little cheekiness here. And um, what we can do is we can wall this to cut off his reinforcements. Yeah, I should have just wondered. I, you know, I was too cautious, man. But I didn't want Wookiee pushing up and killing my shit. Which I think he would do if, if, it, were, um, if it were just one wonder. Wookiee, are you alive? <laughs> Uh, I can delete wonder if that makes you feel better. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's still here. Let's see. Okay, let's get the horseman. Let's get some knights. Yeah. He said almost. Okay. He's he's almost on the way, maybe? Okay. I respect that. Cool. Let's get our cults to shoot here. He's got a better food economy than us, too. Up to 10 bills. Okay, we got one down. And um, the other culverin, we... Where are them free Ozutsu at? Okay, retreat. Retreat! Sound the horn! Gilded Knights are cool, but I don't know how much they're going to do. I think we're out of steam, ladies and gentlemen. He's got, he's got way too much. I feel like I was richer, but I just waited to pull the trigger. Um, do we want to try and creep a keep up here? Maybe? What do we got? Six minutes left? Four minutes. Yeah, four minutes on that. Nobody's even trying to decap my sacreds. Scouts. Do we really have 78 on food right now? I guess we do, right? It's pretty insane. I guess I'm going to have to try and get another concentrated push. Okay, so maybe we have one last idea. One last uh, idea to rule them all. Okay, let's do that. And then we can do a little bit of this. They're all going. That's getting dropped. We're, keep, we're gonna keep cre creeping up ever so slightly. Little keep crawl, as they, as they like to call it. Oh, the Wookiee's coming! All hail the Wookiee! He's arising from the deep with crooked tails and incredible tails. Okay, um, that's that's a little something. We're making some ground here, actually. If he lets us get the keeps up, I'm going to be quite pleased. Um, and it looks like that keep might actually finish. Okay, so the knights, unfortunately, he did have some spears in there. It's kind of hard to tell them apart, honestly. Like a lot of these guys, it's very tricksy hobbits. Man, those culverins have insane range, huh? Uh, the fight's going okay. Maybe Wookie gets in. Maybe he does. Um, horseman, we might need to try like a last desperate horseman run by. 
Okay, let's repair that. He only has one Bombard here, so maybe not. If Wookiee creeps up with like 30 Ozutsu, it, it could still happen. It could still happen. It looks like that one's being inadvertently decapped, which is pretty funny. Alright, so those are Culves. Um, the Keep Crawl is, is getting us a little bit of ground. We rise, says Wookiee? Okay, where's the Wookiee? Is he, is he back? Okay, I need to get this horseman push going here. Okay, so there's that. Let's get you guys and Gilded Boys. We have another keep coming up here. Uh, trying to take some ground. Enemy Is Wookiee nearby? Is he shooting it? I don't know if he is. The Chad Wookiee plays. This is actually a really fun ending. This is really epic. Okay. Let's do this. And then we need to get you guys to move here too. Get a couple horsemen coming out, and um, yeah, you know, the Culves are shooting a keep, which is going to take them 10 years to kill. The Nomi, new FFA record, I know, look at that! Holy shit! Alright, so we're getting as much as we possibly can here. We got a minute 19. Uh, I don't know where the Wookiee Goblin is. He could be, could be, could be around. Um, it looks like he's being harried. Um, that definitely has emergency repairs. So let's get our main boys, move them up. Our keeps were able to claim a little bit of ground, but not too much. And uh, it looks like he didn't get there. He tried, but you know, it wasn't, wasn't far enough. Okay, so let's get all the riders going by. We're gonna try a Haggard ride by and see if we can get some damage on it, because it would appear it's not walled. So maybe we can. How many chances at this are we gonna have? This is pretty much it, so. We can get one Haggard Torch uh, charge at it. So he's building back here a little bit. Hey, you know, that ride by actually, yeah, we're on it. So that's that's something. Um, a lot of villagers trying to panic build keeps. The Ozutsu must rise. Yeah, don't be conservative with your wonders. I know, it lost me the game. We for sure could have won that, I think. I think I could have held him off, like, 100%. GG, well played. Good game. That was a good FFA, man. That was weird. Like, I was in the pits of hell, and then, you know, you just find these little rat networks, and you can come back. It's it's trippy. I mean, we still have, like, good passive gold. How many bombards in boat? So let's see what Wookie was doing. Oh, my God. GG. Let's see. So what's this going to be? Only, like, five? So he had, like, a sneaky bombard play, it looked like. Yeah, I really should have wondered, man. No, I know you weren't salty, Docs. You don't need to worry about it. Come on now. So, Wookie had a boat that dropped. Maybe. Oh, holy shit. I should have thought of that. I mean, goddamn. Like, right here? It wouldn't have been too hard, too. Fuck, dude. You gotta be, I gotta be more creative. Like, sometimes you just get in the tunnel, right? And you're just like... But we could have pulled all our vills from the south and just built, like, you know, like, eight freaking siege workshops here and trebucheted this and killed it, like, very easily. Yeah, little things, man. You know, I just assumed this was all kind of blockaded. Um, but yeah, GG, well played. That was a game. That was a game. But this is a big vulnerability. This this wonder, like right here. Oh my god, this would he would have seen it coming though. Yeah, he would have seen it coming. I wonder I wonder where the Wookiee came from. He probably had his free Ozutsu. Let's see. Yeah, he had his landmark. He actually did he repair anything? Oof. No supply. Yeah. I had a good bank. I was able to push even after the wonder, but it was something. It was something. We told you to go from left. Yeah, good learning opportunity for sure. It's easy to get in the tunnel, in tunnel vision when you're uh, when you're going. Holy shit! I think uh, I think what we can do is do a one v one game. Yeah, well, it's hard to read chat too when you're all in on sieges. Man, what a game! Oh my god, I, my back hurts. Everything hurts. Let's play some one v one matches. I, I'm feeling I'm feeling they'll be shorter, and I can I can do those. So we'll do this. I've been, I tanked my rating down to like Diamond 1 playing a Bassid and Civs I don't know how to play, and now we're bringing it back up, so. Hmm. Oh, man. Oh, let's stretch the back. Holy shit, that match was wild. Let's do some old man stretches. That's three hours of just grinding. Oh, God. <laughs> that was a record match, I think, guys. Yeah, I think that was the longest FFA we've ever had. I turn. I got DC'd from a game a few streams ago. We're we're probably not gonna do another FFA. Just I think we're gonna do a one v one here. Almost had him with a sneaky boat. Oh, that would have been so good. That would have been hilarious. You know, if uh, if if Wookie had gotten in there with the steel chair. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. I think we would just give him the moral victory if that had happened, you know? We give Wookiee the uh, the moral victory. That was crazy. Order of the Dragon's an interesting sieve. You can definitely um, fight people off without gold, but it's... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't like being gold relic dependent, you know? Like, Roos can get, what, 300 plus 2... Roos gets like 500 passive gold a minute, which is really nice. And also the High Trade House can just get you... Um, or excuse me, the... Uh, the Golden Gate can do really well for you. Dude, that was a long FFA, man. That was a really, really long one. Like, that was balls deep long. Three hours and 15 minutes. Yeah, sounds about right. Uh, I'm probably going to play Byzantines. They're my main, so. Biz and English are who I play when I play, like, when I'm actually... But, I, you know, I don't have an, a Smurf account, so I, I actually just learn new civs on my ranked games. So I'll just go play Delhi or whatever and, you know, take the losses and it's it's all good. Because once you reach Conqueror, which I already did this season, um, it keeps it for you. So when the season ends, you're, you're totally safe. That was such a balls deep game, dude. Yeah, we're going to Byzantine, man. Yeah, they're my favorite. They're really good too, I think, at, uh, at certain points. I mean, they have their weaknesses. But I like them a lot. Usually, I think 2TC Biz is usually pretty haggard. I think Byzantine shines with Fast Castle. That's usually um, usually what we see. We'll see if we can find a game here. All right, let's go lose some ranked matches against a dreaded Conk 3 opponent, probably. Let's see. Is he Conk 3? No, he's just Conk 1. All right. Nothing too scary. Should be good. All right, so let's go Biz and Memes. Have fun. Uh, I don't want to pick purple because it makes it really obvious what you're doing. My guess is this is a Zhushi Enjoyer. Um, I, I just have a lingering suspicion. Battlegrounds? Oh, yeah, Battlegrounds. AoE Battlegrounds. We could try that. I've never played it. Maybe I'll play it off stream first, Kyrie, and then we'll we'll uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Was my guess right? When people pick two... Oh, no, it's autos. Okay. That's even scarier for me. I'm very bad at feudal. That's my probably weakest point in the game, so... Gotta watch out for those bad boys. So the Ottomans. Um, they're going to be harassing my spear, my gold. Yeah, with early spears, probably. But I'm just going to use the Akatroy defenses to stop that, I think. Which makes our um, villagers into Giga Chads. All right. Let's go find some sheep and uh, go from there. Oh man, it's weird. I, I I feel like I was just on another planet in that game. That was uh, that was something. Move these sheep a little bit closer. Okay, and um, looking good. Let's see if we can find some old sheep. Hopefully they don't beat me on the sheep game. Uh, yeah, actually the gold's close enough to our base that I don't think we're gonna have a problem with the um, with the what's it called. Okay, sheep there, but only... Okay, there's another one down there. Good. And, um... I wonder how often, like, Pro Scouts is used. Like, do people ever use Pro Scouts anymore? I feel like they don't. So, how are we going to do this? Um, probably like so. Yeah, we can do the cistern right there. And that will give us the actual defenses. Uh, you only need two on two on gold, really, out of the gates. Um, and it's close enough to our base that I don't think we're in danger, so... Yeah, I think we're fine. I think we're A-OK, -okay, buddies. Chushi or English? English are more common, I found, when I was, like, first playing um, this season. I, I find you run into more English players in, like, Platinum and Lower Diamond, but they kind of taper off a little bit as you get higher up. But there's still, there's still are plenty of them, but, like, at the lower ranks, England is, like, almost, like, it feels like they're almost every game. Yeah, so early auto spear harass wouldn't really do much against us here because of the, uh, how, how... I, I feel like that should always be the case. Like, the gold should just be, like, within range of the TC because it just makes for such haggard, cheesy gameplay when it's not, you know? Uh, any, I don't know what we're going to stream tomorrow. We'll do something. The Old World comes out. I might be, I might go try and play some Old World Warhammer tomorrow. Oh, there's a sheep there. Let's just go grab that. And turn it in and check behind our base too. All right. So, um, the only crappy part is the berry bushes are out in the front, which is, um, I am a big enjoyer of the Grand Winery. I think it's a superior landmark. The mercenary momentum it gives you in the uh, Feudal Age is so good. Well, my keyboard is perfect except except the space bar. That's why I don't haven't replaced it because I'm really used to the keyboard and it's I get I get attached. You know, you've, I've, it's it's done me it's done me well for years. You know, and um, all right, let's go make sure there's no sheep sitting back there. Should be aging up soon, and uh, yes, and then the Byzantines will uh, hopefully. This is a historical fight, right? Byzantines Ottomans. Yeah, we all know how that ended. So. I'm not feeling too great about it. All right, let's do this. Turn in, and you guys go up here, and we can get the Grand Winery. Let's do it like so, and probably that's enough. And we can get the rest of you guys and jump over onto wood. Standing, and uh, now we go scout to see what kind of funny business they're up to. I think three is adequate. We probably don't need that many. 
Alright, so then you switch to wood really hard, and that allows you to get, um, yeah, you know, maybe a dune stream. Spice, uh, Starcraft could happen too. Pwn and I have been playing Starcraft, so screwed that up. I accidentally pulled bills off that. Hey, we found a couple more sheep in the fourth quarter. Alright, perfect. So, with Byzantines, typically, you just want to go castle. Um, one TC castle, I think, is the most optimal way to play them, typically. Um, you can go two TC, but against the aggressive Tiv, like, you know, Ottomans, that would just be suicide. Um... I would be I would be paying the troll toll incredibly hard, like incredibly hard. So, the curse team FFA that one was pretty funny, dude. Okay, so he's scouting. We got a spearman coming. It's whatever. Every everything is within range of the TC. There's not really any damage he can do. So we're gonna go see. He's gonna be delayed on his age up also. So um, that's good. And in the meantime, we can get this going. You always Lehmans and I are just so such a good unit. Like you always my I like barracks and. Um, Grand Winery is going to be gathering, so we need to get some Lehman tonight out to make sure we don't like have problems there. Okay, how are we doing on houses? We're going to need another one here in a second, so let's get the house over here. Whatever, it's fine. And, uh, okay, looks like he's aging up now. He's probably behind us, I would expect. Let's go see. Let's see. I mean, most Ottoman players just get go like heavy, heavy aggro, right? So, there's not really much diversity of strategy for that Civ. Okay. These guys need to get on the straggler trees instead of these long distance trees, which is really haggard. And now we're going to be aging up. All right, let's go check the back. So when the Grand Winery finishes, you, you want to get all your bills on it just to um, get the mercenaries going, right? That's that's the sauce. And uh, then we also want to get a, another sister in, in a second. So we're going to set it up up here. And uh, we just kind of see what uh, they're going to be doing in terms of progression. So, yeah, we could get attacked here, but we also can pump out some Lima tonight in a second. Um, villagers, we don't need to worry too much about just one of those. So let's get you. Yeah, see, our TC is in range here, so we can we can just lure you back and, and hopefully deal with him. Yeah, he's probably going to die. Age up is there, and then you guys can just set this up here. And let's move you and just prison shank you real quick. All right, so he's down. And now we have a Spearman, so we should be a-okay. We need to jump back onto this now, onto gold a little bit. Um, also, scouting for relics is going to be prudent. I, you know, I'm just going to expect that he's going to be aggressive here because it's it's just the way that um, you know they usually play. Okay, so we need like two on gold, maybe three. We could get a tower up to prevent the uh, berry bush harass, but I think just fighting military with military might be better. Okay, so what is this going on back here? It's a spearman, so no problem. So we just do this and send a Lima tonight back there. We can garrison um, if he comes in range. The Akatroi defenses could also be activated, which can give them the spears. You can see our villagers just become the Chad Terminators. All right, let's go camp here, see what he's up to. Back on gold we go, and our Lima tonight should be able to win that fight. Um, I'm going to go with the Keshiks. I just really, really like having a early night unit here. I think that's uh, for sure the way. So, so far, the harass hasn't been too bad. You know, we, we're, we're okay. We're still alive. And, uh, yeah, we should get the Spearman down now. Looking awesome. So let's do that and that. Get our army here. Pull you back. And we can also consider um, getting you guys some gold. And then we can wall here. It's a bit of a long wall, but it does secure the berry bushes. And uh, you need to just spam out Lemus. Lemus and I right now. Is he coming with more units? Looks like it's mostly just Spears. So he might just be trying to age up here. Um, that is a... Couple spears? Yeah, it's a handful of those bad boys. The berry bushes are flowing very well. And now we're gonna get some Keshiks, because he's not just gonna be spears nonstop, right? It's gonna it's gonna switch into something else here in a minute. So Okay, so something else I like to do is maybe get a the second stone going or zone going in a minute. Alright, so the Lehmans and I can go fight there. Uh, they're gonna get upgraded. Let's switch to Dialectus to get that speed going. And then we can go start counter raiding with Keshiks and stuff. Uh, too many on gold right now, actually. Too many on gold. Yeah, see, he's got CPE coming in, which is fine. We have we have plenty of answers for those. So hopefully that wall off in the back will finish. Let's get this tower to be safe. And you guys do this. You're really going to go in and do that? We might just prison shank him there. All right. Cool. I'm very happy with that trade. And uh, let's also get you back here, because that's inevitably where we're going to switch. And we just defend and go castle, um, I think is the play. All right, let's go do some more scouting here. We seem to be... Pretty comfortable here, I would say. Um, we got five on gold. We got a little security tower coming up. Ottomans do have some scouts over there. Uh, not scouts, but some dudes. And let's go get our Keshiks and go raid his gold now. And uh, soon we'll have a second Keshik because of the uh, the efficiency of the berries. And it looks like the back is going to be secure also. 
So let's do this and this, and then we can also do this. And just turn it into a, you know, a later stage game here. Kashuk's gonna go ride down some of the boys. All right, let's do that, and you can go here. Okay, so the Sipa here doing it. He's got, yeah, he's he's definitely going in on the aggression. So we we got to keep making units. We can't we can't like just age up willy nilly here. It's gonna be a futile fight, which is uh, how the autos like to roll anyways. All right, let's get on that. Wall that off here. Pull you guys back. Do this and get you on the wood. That's what she said. And um, I think we have the spears here, so we shouldn't have any issues with raiding. Yeah, and the Kashyyyks are on the way. Cool. Um, gold is secured. Berry bushes are online if we want them to be. I mean, maybe he's going to try and ride through into the base, but the Kashyyyks can easily just track them down. We see another relic there, which is good. Yeah, Ottomans are a very scary sieve. They're very, very frightening. Um, we, got, we got to put some respect on their names. And it looks like they're trying to circle about. Not going to be having too much fortune there. Let's send the Kashyyyks back up and put some pressure on him. I don't like to just be super passive and just sit here, right? You, you got you to gotta move up and... Um, then we switch over to these berry bushes when the time comes. Let's see if we can head him off and get a kill. Uh, is he building rams in my bushes and stuff? I don't know. He could be. Uh, let's get you here. All right. Is he, where's he going to go? You guys go back on the berry bushes. And now we can do this and keep these Kashyyyks back. Shield wall. And the counter harass should be pretty effective, I think. It'll keep him from aging up at least. So let's go down here and set up shop there. And uh, yeah, should be a-okay. We can also do a little bit of that and set up a, another uh, cistern down here. And just, uh, yeah, we lose a worker. It's a shame. It was outside the walls. It is what it is. All right. So now we counter harass him a little bit. Definitely going to get a worker kill probably. Yeah, he's, he's on the run. All right. Looking great. And uh, we got a worker. He's off gold, which is outstanding. These are Keshiks. So they're very good units. And uh, all right. Oh, shit, dude. What the hell is going on with this? My, my rally point? Do I have some bad rally point or something? Kind of looks like it. All right, so you guys turn around, kill those guys. He's got a decent army here, but we might be able to just straight up beat him. Um, I'm not sure. We do have a tower, so when he inevitably pushes through, it's going to be a tricksy hobbitses. Let's pull back the injured one. Let it hide in the shadows. Run this one this way. And uh, all right. So you run down that way, buddy. We have our standing army here with the shield wall. I don't know if we could defeat them, but maybe. Maybe we can. Maybe, maybe. And uh, can I reach? Can. Perfect. Just barely. Okay, so this Kashyyyk is running, and this one can now move back and try and shut down the gold again. It's going to die, but at least it will maybe do something on the way out here. Okay, and we need to switch that to Conscriptio. And the Ottoman uh, Blob of Doom is on its way. Here it comes. Um, berry bushes could be in a little bit of danger, so let's set up a tower there. If we can hold this, if he takes a bad trade here, I think we're in very, very good shape. All right, so now let's concentrate our forces. We have several Kashyyyk. Um, we're about to be sister in level three. I did Bronzodia a couple workers around. Uh, is he here still? Let's see. Uh, he's moving back. So maybe we can go chase down a couple of these units and get a freebie there. We do have another tower, so I think we're safe. And yeah, I think we can just kill these idle spears he has here. He's going Castle Age also. He's clearly switching up his, uh, his old game plan here. Get you there. Do this. We just got four free units from him, so that's big. And you get back in the base there, buddy. Nice. We just wiped a bunch of stuff. So now he's looping back it around. Um, we need to uh, get the Akatroi defenses going, so let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, those guys can run. Okay, back you go. And uh, you guys loop down here. Those guys going to run. Should be okay. Um, let's go ahead and get a market so we can try and uh, buy our way to the next age. And we'll go from there. All right, so the cisterns are connected. We got the triple cistern. Let's see if we can take a fight here. And uh, all right, outstanding. Let's get a little wall here. And we can ride them down. Maybe try threatening a little bit of pressure here. Kashyyyks are pretty beast mode, but he's going to be aging up here in a minute. And um, I should be getting Golden Horn Tower, though, in just a second. Okay, so we just need a little bit more food. Let's pull back, run here. And uh, we just need... Oh, man, I screwed up. I, I was a little bit inefficient with how that worked. Uh, let's sell some of this. And now you guys start working on the Golden Horn Tower, which is just an insanely good landmark, by the way. It's super good. And uh, now we need to build some more infrastructure, some more military action. So let's get another Rax and another one of you. And uh, that should be good. Maybe double archery range would be prudent. Um, but the Raxes are definitely, I think, a little more important. And then we need to get a blacksmith too. So we'll get that back here for the Dialectus. 
And uh, cool. So yeah, we're we're alive. We're hanging in there. Our food eco kind of sucks, but you know we get free units with the sieve, so pretty happy with that. And uh, yeah, the cisterns are going. Uh, maybe let's get a couple more of you on that and rewall that off because that's a vulnerability. He's gonna be getting castle age if he's not a potato here in just a minute. Um, and I don't think he's a potato. He's a conqueror player, so um, I suspect that we will see the castle in a moment. Let's get that. And um, upgrades. Probably want to save gold for. Yeah, we need to switch a lot of you guys onto gold so I can start getting actual castle age units. And we can also try and grab relics. Looking good. Let's get another tower here in case there's raids and shit. And you guys pull back, pull back. And let's see if we can fight them off. Yeah, he got a worker. Not the end of the world. Still annoying as hell, but, you know, it is what it is. All right. Let's get on the food. Now we have the... Uh, we just need to get a little bit of dough. You guys can go finish that wall off that we were looking to finish. And I need to get these guys upgraded. So let's do this. Sell a little bit of wood. And we need the food. Should get it soon. All right, so let's get you. Try and start grabbing some relics. It's probably not going to be easy. I suspect he's going to have good map control. Uh, let's move out. You need to buy some food now. Yeah, he's Castle Age. That's not good. So that means the Mehmed Armory is here, which is an incredibly good, incredibly good landmark. Let's get the Mercenary Contracts. Let's go up here and up here. Is he going to attack me, I wonder? We see his Sipahi. Um, these guys are not quite upgraded yet. Okay, so you guys did that. Well done. Uh, let's get you back on the trees back here. And um, now we need to get these guys upgraded. Yeah, we really do. All right, so let's do some, like, dual prong grading. I think that's going to be the play here. So let's go around there, and then you go here and uh, do this, this, and this. All right. Let's get some Brangian chads, some crossbows. Um, a couple of you guys could get the olive action going here. Three, three, four, and five, and six. A little bit of a shady spot, but, you know, should be okay. Brangians are going. We're going to raid on a couple uh, fronts here. Hopefully it will work. Get some houses. Two, three, four. And then back on the meat you go. All right. So you come up here. And you, buddy, will go over here. We're going to have a mango push here in a second. So we need to get a siege workshop. Like, out. Like, stat. So we can get spring alds. And all that goodness. But now we start to get our free mercenaries, which is really cool. So that's that's when we can uh, cackle all the way to the bank. All right. So let's see if we can get some kills here. Looks like he's walled adequately, so well played. Um, but yeah, we still might be able to find a way into his base. And then these guys can maybe find a way. Yeah, very defensive too. Very defensive stuff. Yeah, that, that prelate, unfortunately, is just going to pay the price. He's not going to live. And um, let's get in on the gold here. And we've gotten in here with these Keshiks. So let's do a little dual prong raiding. You guys push, and let's go to the blacksmith and get that. All right, great. So we got that. Let's run you guys back and up and have you guys hide in the corner here. All right. Um, it might be time to start pushing with an army here. Let's get some upgrades. Yeah, keep running around the back of the base. And these Keshiks can move in and see what kind of food we can find. Let's get those free units, baby. That's what I'm That's what I'm talking about. Okay, he's trying to creep around here. Um, I don't think he's going to be able to get in. I didn't screw up the walls there, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, he's, he's trying. Let's go around the top. I think that wall will hold long enough, although I'm not sure. All right, so down you go, down you go. Yeah, let's get out of there. And um, now we need to grab this and go over here and see if we can get this relic. All right, so get in the towers, do this. Um, you guys maybe need to go here and here. We probably need to just organize a push on him now. Okay, good, he's, he's just leaving. So no damage done. All right, I think it's time to push him. I think it's time. Okay, let's get the towers going. Uh, get that sweet olive oil flowing like the salmon of Capistrano. Uh, let's get the siege engine upgrade because we're going to need it. And do this, and uh, then you guys can come over here and go ahead and wall that. And we probably want to get a tower here in the front with a mangonel to really mitigate the damage. And I think it's time for, like, just a push. I feel like we've got it. We've got some upgrades now. Let's get that one going. All right. Looking fine. Yeah, our food eco sucks, but it's going to be picking up here in a second. He got most of the relics off the map because he's got a bigger army, so he's able to map control me pretty well. All right. The olives are flowing. They are. And now we can get another cistern back here, too. So let's get that. Get this going. I think he's got the advantage, for sure. But securing the middle on this map is, like, uber important. So there's an opportunity for us to maybe secure the middle with, like, Manganel Towers and, uh, and be in good shape. So is that relic still there? I doubt it. 
Okay, food kind of sucks, but it could be worse. Let's get another merc shop. And uh, we have a siege workshop just in case. If we see mangoes, I mean, he has to have gone Mehmet Armory, right? He has to. Um, it, 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 I can't see anything else being an option. Okay, yeah, there's the artillery, so we need to get the uh, spring alts here in a second. Gold's a little bit tight, but no problem. Do we want to maybe explore the option of a second? Ah, I'd probably just do the game there. Shit. That was a good raid. Very well played. Kashyyyk should be able to fight this off, though. Yeah, he was... I thought. I assumed he had gone home, but it was not the case. Unless we can kill a lot of army here, we're probably in, in danger. I might need to transition into a second TC, too. All right. Let's get you over there, buddy. Okay, so Kashyyyk's are raiding. I don't know how many bills I actually lost. Hopefully not too many. Let's go get down here, get the upgrades. And we're going to take a fight, and it looks like he might blunder and lose a couple units, which is good. Sacred Sight is on our side. And uh, I do have a lot on Lumber. It's probably overkill. Let's uh, go to TC. Unfortunately, if he gets Imperial, I'm probably just toast because of the... Because uh, of the... What's it called? Yeah. Okay, he takes a fight there, which is good. A slight blunder on his part. We do see somebody trying to bring back a Relic, so that's an opportunity for us to snake that. Um, his army's pretty good. It's definitely not bad. We need to get this and this. And um, All right, so let's retreat back. Let's get Mercs and Archers, whatever. Um, we can go in the formation. And we need to get the Keshiks and turn around. He's got a shit ton of crossbows. And uh, we do manage to purge the front line adequately well. And a lot of men-at-arms are now on the way in. All right. Yeah, and now he's got that. So let's dive there if we can. By a little bit of time. If we can take down that artillery piece that's pretty fat. Do we get it? Looks like we do. Those are mostly archers, actually. So maybe we can do a little something-something. We got both sacreds also. Which is big. Um, but yeah, I think this fight needs to be uh, rethought a little bit. Let's come back, get you guys here, and we need to also just get a fat food economy now. So um, we can do a little bit more. It's a shame that it's out in the front that we have to do it, but it is what it is. Okay, let's get the olives. The salmon and olives must flow. Uh, we need to buy time for this mango tower to uh, to help us out. Let's get a mangonel of our own. That should thwart his attack a bit. And did we get the relic man? It looks like he might have escaped us. Okay, he's taking the sacred site now, but let's contest that. Might need to switch into some horsemen. Could be the idea. Let's get a siege ball of our own. Um, he's going to probably get control of the mid here, but we are going to get a good food economy finally. All right, so we got a lot of stone. We spent most of our wood there. It's been a great game so far. He's playing very well. All right. I feel it's pretty hard matchup. Could be wrong, though. Could be wrong. All right, so yeah, the Byzantine farms are going. All right, let's get you guys going. Yeah, olive oil's flowing, but not as well as I would like. Let's go over there, um, get you back into the trees. And we can just take the Keshiks only and go see if we can run them down. So we do have artillery now. Um, that sacred site has been taken. Let's go ahead and send a Brangian guard over there to go thwart that one. And, um, yeah, we see what we can do, man. Let's get the upgrades. Food upgrades are coming. We now have the olive oil, uh, going reasonably well. Kashyyyks, we're gonna shut him down here. All right, so it's gonna be, that guy's gonna be toast. Let's go around the back and just do, like, a little bit of a weird push here. And I need to grab a worker and move up and, uh, start kind of climbing up. So Ghulams. Ghulams are super good. Let's move up and uh, start tower crawling a little bit, which I think is going to be necessary. And we'll do this just as a distraction. I don't know. Byzantines do get a lot of olive units, which is great. We can try and slap down a keep here. Uh, Desperation Keep. As, uh, as it probably should absolutely be named. Um, olive oil is going to keep flowing here. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So let's just get the keep here. He's moving up. If he doesn't have anti-artillery, I might be able to hold here. Yeah, so he's going to get mangoed in the face, and that's going to force him back. And then we need to use our tower here that we have. Let's get you guys to do this and this. Okay, we need to just find a way to hold here. Uh, keep the rating going there. All right. And spring alts. Yes, please. Uh, you guys, let's optimize the towers, get upgrades, and switch you to Dialectus to turbo out those upgrades. And, uh, yeah, the rating is going. The Vrangian Chad, did he ever make it? Let's switch to Berserking. Take that down. And we'll have a keep now, so at least we won't die, like, instantly. But he's probably just going to go Imp and be uh, an absolute raid boss, right? Okay, let's get food upgrade. And um, we probably just spam Lehman and I. Is what it's going to be. Let's get you back. He's, yeah, going cavalry against Ottomans is kind of stupid because of the uh, Janissaries. So, yeah, we, we don't want to do that. I think just like shield wall boys is going to be good. We got 30 on food, so our eco's coming together a little bit. 
Let's buy this. Uh, we need a little bit more stone, so let's get that and get a TC back here. And try and eco up. Yeah, that hurt for sure. It did. Um, let's get that. So, and just try and slow creep it up. The problem is we're going to run out of gold back here soon. And then if we don't have any foothold in the middle, we just lose. Gulams. And what other free units can we get? Yeah, that's going to be the Keshiks. Let's get these Keshiks down, down, and down. I keep pulling this guy back because he's in that control group. That's so funny. All right. No problem. Should be okay. All right. So Town Center's going to finish. We're going to try an eco here. But Imperial Ottomans, man, he's going to be an absolute unit. He's going to be an absolute unit to take care of. He did get the relics pretty effectively, too. All right, so are we going to make archers for any reason? Probably not. Mostly going to be crossbows. So let's just get like a big stacked army and see if we can win a fight. Uh, that tower is going to be up. And do we have enough stone to build the mango emplacement? We do now. All right, you guys keep keep creeping ever so slightly. Taking ground here. And uh, the houses in the back are not being built because that weird... I hate when that happens. It's like the weirdest shit. Okay, so we're decapping that. Let's see if we can do any Keshek raiding. Or maybe just scout the middle and see. Because he's probably going to pull his army over now. The Abyssin Meme uh, towers are crazy good. Alright, so you guys have finished that. Now we need to move up and legit try and secure some gold. Because otherwise we just lose, right? So I think that's going to occupy his attention to an extent. And uh, you guys move up. And let's get you. And um, crossbows, yes. And we got the double villagers going now. We see his vills here. So here comes his doom stack. Okay, let's make that into the proper tower type. We do have a mango tower here now. He's walling that, so let's move up. Uh, get another spring ald, maybe. Back you go, buddy. I don't know if we're quite ready for that. We got the 22 villagers here. Uh, let's set up another one here. And uh, yeah, if we can bait a fight here and then win the artillery duel, maybe. He's got what appears to be a big stack. All right, so we got to probably try and win this here. So let's snipe you and you. And uh, maybe the Manganel is going to be able to do some work. Let's go shield wall. All right, so we took that down. Let's uh, go ahead and get the spring ult to target this, this, and this. I don't know. That's rough. He's got, he's got some really good artillery here, boys. I think we just pull back and pull him into our towers here. All right. Yeah, because we have the Mango Tower, which will help a lot. All right, so here he is. Let's see if we can turn that around. And do we have enough olive oil? We do. The shield wall is enduring, and we do have the Mango shooting, but they're not really, like, in a super clutch position. So let's pull back, and we do have that going. All right, great. So we're able to wrap some gold out on the side. It's exactly what we need. And uh, he is extending into the towers pretty deeply. So maybe we can get some decent counter momentum here, and the fact that we're able to... Um, Take that gold there on the side is really, really quite clutch. Yeah, so you can see he's taking a lot of damage, but I think he's in definitely in a better position. Uh, he's got good control of the middle. Um, we have the villager count increasing, so let's go ahead and get some olive oil back here. Just the ugliest freaking farms you can ever imagine. Move over this way. And we need to get some more military production now, too. It's, it's a little bit Bronzodia. All right, let's do that and uh, get some, some of these out there. We'll eventually set up a cistern out there too. But we did get gold on the side, which is outstanding. So um, that's really quite big. If we didn't get that, that would have been quite bad. But we're in it. We're still in it. We're still in it, baby. Um, we got the this infrastructure being set up here. Let's also get a Merc house, although we don't really have enough olive oil for that. So it's kind of pointless. So we'll get a siege workshop here. And uh, Byzantines can definitely muster armies like really quickly. Like really, really quickly. All right, so let's get our little spring all that could. Go over there. Um, we're on gold for now. I don't know for how much longer, that's for sure. Is that going to get upgraded to stone? It is. So let's see if we can repair through that. I have a couple of you guys come and repair this. Let's see if we can get a little cheeky snipe on that, right? That's going to be good. We're going to try. Is it going to happen? Probably not. Nope, too dodgy. And uh, let's get in the tower. You guys go forward. And you guys repair this. Yes, good. Let's go shield wall. Yeah, he takes big damage there. But unfortunately, still looking pretty pretty numerous in his, uh, his siege efforts. Okay. Let's get back. Repair that. Repair that. Let's fight. And uh, are we going to get the snipe on it? Probably not. Damn, that damn keep is going to get it. Yeah, we're going to lose that spring. It's very rough. We're trying to get the repairs, but man, it's it's looking... That Ottoman war machine is coming into full effect, man. 
It's uh, it's no joke. Let's go dive that. See if we can get that trebuchet offline at least. Maybe. Yeah, he's taking some damage too, but not that much. And we have like no gold. Yeah, we're just like in the pits of the gold. We have an arrow slit there, which is hilarious. We got nothing going on there. Is there any way we can win with just gold units? You know, like what do we have to do? Mass horseman raids into his base? I feel I feel like that's that ain't gonna work. That's for sure. Um, all right, so that's been uh, set up here. We got a couple springs. Let's make some Keshex, make some crossbows while we still have a little bit of gold. Oh my god. Ottomans are just brutal, dude. They're such a brutal sieve. Like, a lot of his units are just free um, from the, uh, from the uh, military schools. Huh, so I guess we just try and do some artillery sniping and hope that our olive oil can carry us into the sunset to an extent. We're still going to have a big supply, so let's take you down. I don't think he's watching. That's one. But again, that was probably a free one. Uh, do we have any gold anywhere? I mean, we can sneak around. It's really just all in the middle on this map, huh? Yeah, looks like it is. I think he got me, brother. I think he did. He's playing very well. He's playing, playing a good game. And uh, the problem is he's going to go imp here, right? Maybe, are these, these are just like basic archers? Yeah, I think they're just basic. And um, we need to sell some wood, and let's do this. Uh, let's get some more gulams because they're the coolest shit ever. What is his army mostly? Yeah, he's got 32 crossies. That's tough. That's a lot. All right, let's go get this down. Maybe, maybe we can get some like chair sea phones and do something from there. Okay, let's uh, creep up. Is he going to let me get another one? I don't think so. I mean, I've been sniping a lot of artillery here. Okay, let's get you guys. And then you bills come repair this one. Unfortunately, I wasn't in position to adequately defend that. Uh, let's go ahead and sell some food and get some chair sea phones and try and take down that um, base there. That's going to be the play, and uh, we're still working on workers here. So our eco count is what? Yeah, he's imp age. It's probably GG. I want to just leave and try and get a different one in. Man, that matchup's hard, dude. Because they can match your early units. Like, a lot of civs can't um, because of the, um, because of the well, olive oil, but Byzantines do. Yeah, Byzantines are considered one of the weakest civs, but I think they, I think they have some strengths. I think they're pretty good. I like them a lot. All right, so there's no trade on this map either. I, I know they removed trade, so I guess we just try and do one last desperate fight. Wait for those gulams to come out, and let's go get the chair of sea phones and see what we can do. Uh, he's making a keep over here. Um, we're going to get the Greek fire of the gods. I needed to secure the middle earlier. There was definitely an opportunity to do such. All right, and I think my upgrades are okay for the age, all things considered. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of damage in there. A lot of the units uh, taking taking a little bit of a beating. Let's get that spring old, and uh, you guys go shield wall formation. So, yep, just wood units and uh, olive oil units, whatever we can get. We do get his spring all down. I don't know where his heavy artillery is. Let's actually just torch this shit down. See if we can get it down quicker. Do we really only have one right now? That's really it? Oh, here they are. Okay. And I was like, wait a second. Where'd you go? All right. So we're, we're fighting hard for the mid here, doing what we can, you know. Uh, let's get that mango. And the Greek fire maybe, maybe gets a little momentum. And then what we can do is we can grab some of you bills and see if we can desperately grab some gold here in the uh, fourth quarter. All right. Pull you back. Get you guys here, and um, yeah, I mean, could be worse, right? Could be worse. But he's Imperial now, guys, which is just so gnarly. Um, let's go set up some towers here and try and grab that. We have the shield wall still active, I believe, on most of my units. And um, archers, I believe, are still potato age. Oh my god, they are. That's so funny. So we need to up upgrade those archers here. All right, so these guys going to pop this down. Um, let's go ahead and sell what little resources we have. A little scrap in here in the fourth quarter, boys, but I don't know what it's going to yield. And uh, let's get you guys moving up, get another Ghulam coming out, some crossbows, and uh, we need to get you back. He's targeting us now. So, yeah, we can start gathering some gold. Just desperation gold gathering. Let's see if he... Maybe he won't notice for a minute. We'll see. Uh, that's going to be, what, 200 stone? <laughs> You need 200 stone for that. Uh, is he elite on anything? No, just Janissaries mostly. Okay, our, our spears, even though they're really good, are not that good. Uh, GG, well played. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll spare it and do one more uh, game. He played well. He did well. Yeah, it was a good game. Is there any way to be... Uh, yeah, people can cheat this game. There's map packs, unfortunately. So history repeats itself. You know, it, it repeats itself. We'll do a 1v1 stream soon. Um, he was a very good player, though. It was very, very solid. Very solid.
we could have been a little bit better with our Ghulam harass, not Ghulam harass, our Keshi harass maybe. Yeah, it is farms, but I had my farms too. It wasn't like I was farmless. This map really comes down to the whoever gets the middle, you know. Whoever gets the middle on this map just really, really just dominates. Yeah, so maybe that's got to be more of a priority. Like push out earlier, set up a couple towers, deny it, um, go from there. Yeah, it's a, it's good. It's a good army. Yeah, he, he was very ahead of me. He was very, very far ahead. I bet the eco count, villager count was pretty, pretty, uh, had a massive discrepancy as well. Land battle attorney took you back to simpler times. Yeah, it's fun to mix those in, man. So uh, we were in it, but, you know, he, he had more successful raids too. And that's the power of Ottomans. You get all those free units and uh, you can really put a lot of pressure on them. Ottomans don't really have good eco, but they make up for that by being able to pressure you so hard. A French game. I'm probably going to call it for tonight. I know it was a little bit of an anticlimactic ending, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I will do a 1v1 stream soon, though. That long that long FFA just took it out of me, dude. I'm worn out. That was That was like three or four hours. So it'll be a shorter one tonight. But guys, I appreciate you all. It was super fun. We had a record long FFA. I mean, come on now. That was great. But we'll be back tomorrow with another stream. I'm definitely going to do a 1v1 sweaty stream. And I'll see. I'll play my mains like English and see how high I can climb. Um, I've gotten to about 1500 ELO, which is almost Conqueror 2 this season. That was, I think I got to like 1498 or something. Uh, we'll see if we can get back there. It'll be fun. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. Thank you all for joining. If you enjoyed the stream, do drop a like on the way out. It helps quite a bit. It helps keep the old engine going. And thank you to those of you who donated. Greatly appreciate it. Nomi and James, you guys rock, man. And uh, that's it. Take care of yourselves. Adios, David, Zenia. You guys are the best, man. And I'm going to go paint some minis and uh, enjoy some dinner. Cheers.